let's do that and then next time you know um, we actually have a list i'll give you the list of all the stuff okay yeah when i play solo i mainly just do uh like i told you before the the rock mining with the rock So you've never done a bunker? No, I have. I have. I think like two or three, maybe. Well, in this case, you know what we're going to do? We're going to bring out the cyclone so you can see what it is. Uh, we're going to ride it for... Uh, you can park your cutlass like, um, you know, two, three kilometers away from the bunker, and then we drive the rest of the way. Okay. Uh, can we get that at crew, uh, L4? The Or where do we have to stop to load it up? Uh, no, uh, Cruel 4 is a space station, uh, for the, the buggy, you know, is on the ground, so I'm right, dropping right, some right. trash on your cutlass if you don't mind. <laughs> oh, how fucking dare you? <laughs> Get that shit out Well, of you me. should put a trash can, it's not my fault. Hey, it's got giant doors for a reason. Just throw so, it. So, uh, an outpost on the, uh, it has to be like on the moon or something. Okay. Nice. So West Signal is from Australia, and right now we have one each one of us on one different continent. That's sweet, dude. That's so cool. That's what we play in uh, always in American servers because they're in the middle, you know. Yeah. And sometimes what happens is, especially on the weekends, uh, first, for example, you know, the Europeans are playing and then they go to sleep and the Americans start playing and then, the, you know, the Australians are playing and then you can have the server, you know, active for like 12 hours straight. Or... Okay, I'm going to bed. Wake me when we get there. All right. Sleep, sleep well.
Still trying to load in. Copy. Plan on a hard drive two signal. No, it's usually no, fine for me. It's usually gotcha. fine for me, but um, yeah, it's just uh, maybe it's a server problem or something. He has a five thousand dollar computer. What do you have a forty ninety? Yeah. Nice. I picked up a um a forty seventy Ti for five hundred and fifty bucks. That's nice. What's your uh, processor? Uh, i9, 10900. So, a oh, right. couple mm -hmm. years old, but... Still pretty good. What about you? What are you running? Right now, I'm playing on a cloud computer. It has a 3070 tie, basically. Um, yeah. And, but the processor is not that good. It, it has like a um, data center processor. And, oh. Um, I don't even know what the... Um, Probably like a Xenon that. or some shit. Yeah, something like that. Um, and he has what? 16 gigs of RAM. Who is it through? It's it's a comp it's a it's a company it's called Blade Shadow. It's specifically for gaming. It's better than um, it's better than Nvidia GeForce and all that stuff or Xbox because I get my own computer. I can do whatever I want with it. It's not just for Steam or I can you know I can I can watch movies on it if I want. That's pretty neat. How's the latency like? Is there any? Well, uh, the data center is in Paris and now I'm in the Canary Islands, so it's got <laughs> about fifty milliseconds. 48 something like that uh so it's not ideal there is um there there is a data, data center in spain but uh, they only brought it online recently and i haven't switched yet if i switched i would get better latency but i'm not bothered right now because like i told you i'm, I'm rarely in the front lines right and uh, i do have a brand new laptop with a 3080 uh but i just haven't um i just haven't taken out of the box yet because i need to do like a lot of setting up and I can't be bothered right now, but when I do take that out of the box, then I'm gonna have two computers, you see, and so nice. I'll be able to play. Uh... Yeah. I'm loaded in. Do you want me to gear myself up or come to you? Well, you have to come up geared, like gear yourself up first okay. of all, and then come to the um, to the spaceport. How long is that gonna take? You? Like probably ten minutes. All right. I'm gonna run to the bathroom in that case, back. Isn't your character already uh, geared up? No, I was doing some solo stuff. Oh. I I should have it. I just got to put it on. That's all. I mean, I'm including travel time in that. Yeah, the travel time is a big one. Uh, but yeah, it's probably better for you to just go ahead and buy the Inquisitor well, stuff um, there. I've, I've already bought him the stuff, everything can be bought from here, and, I, and I've just put it in a backpack according to Shubin's, uh, so I've, I have made a backpack for him, but it doesn't have the stuff that you need to get from Quirrell 4. Um, so one, one thing we could do is fly to Quirrell 4, but he said, uh, like half an hour ago, he said that he only has an hour right now. So right. I'm thinking whether it's worth some... Um, I mean, I would like him to dress up, um, but I'm thinking whether it's worth yeah, let's do that. Let's buy it. Since, you, since this stuff is already at Quirrell 4, that means we don't have to buy it. We can just... Maybe we yeah, but the have to land. But, but the problem is that, like, you then have to... If you're already on the way, you'll have to wait for me to to get there. We're not on the it, way. We're waiting in Hangar 7. 
Oh, you're in area 18. Okay. Yeah. Yes, sir. Um, so, I wonder how much longer we have here before we get impounded. Hopefully, uh... I haven't gotten any timer yet, so... As soon as I see the numbers pop up, I'll just run back and store it real quick. You know what? Just to be sure, since we're not doing anything anyway, I want to do it right now, so I'm just going to get out of here. Yep. All right, let's do it. Let's just be sure. Because I've seen it sometimes, and it just comes out of nowhere. Like, I don't think you even get a warning. I'm not sure. Oh, that's stupid. Still in the shot, I see you now. Yeah, you go up. I'll come, I'll catch up. Okay. So what we decided to do is go to Quirrell 4, since we don't need to buy the stuff, he already has the stuff there. And I don't even know if we need to land. Maybe we don't even need to land. I don't think we do. I can hover us. I'm going to check out the Gladys real quick, though, since I just got it. You bought it? Yeah, I upgraded from the arrow. I'm not sure if you'll be able to access it right now. You might have to exit the game and come back. No, we, we got the 30k, so it, it worked. Oh, nice. Okay, okay. Now let's go check it out. Oh, that's sweet, dude. Yeah, it's cool. That's really cool. It's bigger than the... Um... Yeah, it is. So you said it has better weapons? Yeah, it has better weapons. He has two shields instead of one. He had uh, he had an arrow before West Signal, and I told him the same stuff that Shubin told me, that it's better for him to get the Gladius, and he just got it. So what do we got? Panthers, Mantis, and then it looks like... How many? So one... One size three, and then two size twos. Yeah, I, I myself have a Scorpius. It's a heavy fighter, so I don't know about the Gladius much. So the Gladius is our light fighter, uh, and then the Hornet is our uh, medium fighter, and the uh, Scorpius is our uh, heavy fighter. So yeah, everybody, ha everybody has light fighters like you have, except the three guys who have a ho uh, Hornets, and then the one guy, me, has a Scorpius. What's, the, what's on the bottom of this? Looks like something should like. Th there's like wings on the bottom. I don't know if you can see that or not. I can see them. Yes, yes. I have no idea. They look, they look weird. Well, it almost looks like it detaches. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Oh. Yeah, this thing. Lo I'll be honest. This thing looks a lot nicer than the the arrow. Well, the it arrow. You know, it has a, it has a cleaner aesthetic. It, it, the arrow looks like a modern, like a contemporary jet fighter, doesn't it? More like. Uh, yeah, dude, that, that, this behind does. Behind you though. on that ledge, there's a ship. Can you see that? Up there, uh, where I'm looking at. Oh, what the fuck? There's a fucking ship. There. I think it's a. Uh, what is That's that? That's an arrow, isn't it? Or no? No, I don't think it's an arrow. I think it's an aurora. Might be an arrow. I'm not sure. I'm not... No, you know what it is? It's a gladi gladiator. I think a gladiator is a, oh, is a small bomber. Yeah. Yeah, it's a cool ship, man. I like this. I like the Hornet though. Because the Hornet's got, uh, I want the, the very... The Hornet is a two-seater. Two the Hornet is a two-seater. Yeah. And I wanted to get that with my buddy because the whole reason I got the uh, Cutlass was so he could gun. But yeah, the thing the thing with, you need both because the, the Hornet, you know, it, it can't ha handle cargo and stuff like that. It can't take a, right. like a, a robot yep. or... Yep. And then I realized getting the Cutlass Black was like the smartest choice because it, it can do everything. Exactly, exactly. No, you you have you have the you have the best two ships right now, and if you want with your body, the Hornet is perfect, so that two of you can go on missions and stuff. But from what I understand, the Hornet isn't a, a two seater with a gunner seat; it's a co-pilot seat, right? Um, 
I think the the Super Hornet uh, is the one that we have, and I think that does have a. I'm not 100 percent sure. I it think has a remote does. turret up top. I think that's what it is. So I think he can use the remote turret on the top. But it's not like a turret, like a gunner seat. It's just a. If you if you want the best two seater in the game, buy a Scorpius. A Scorpius? Yes. The problem is that the Scorpius is not for sale a year long. Like you have to get it uh, specific two three times per year. Yeah, that's um, the problem that I have with the website is you can only buy ships at a certain point. Well, if you if you wanna, you can go on a great. I can give you uh, yeah. the address of a great great site that I'm using, and you can yeah. get any one at any time of the year. Uh, I think the Scorpius. I think I know about, what you're talking about. It's the impound. You know, have you seen it? The impound. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, I checked it out. And uh, they're really they're they're super reliable. They give, they send you an email sometimes within like ten minutes so once you buy, once you oh, buy the cool. ship. The only and yeah. negative, and and sometimes you know they have better prices than the official site actually, so you can find uh, ships that are cheaper. The only problem is that uh, whatever you buy there, um, it doesn't count for uh, for um, Star Citizen for the amount of money you spend. So if you spend a thousand bucks in this right. game, you become concierge. Right. So whatever you spend outside this website will not count towards that thousand. Uh, I mean, but maybe you never plan to spend thousand. I'm saying if if you ever maybe I shit. Who knows? Look, a year like ago shit. when I started when I started playing, I would never have thought I would have spent a thousand. But eventually, like almost all of us, have spent a thousand now. Yeah, I mean, I'm at what two hundred and twenty five bucks. Right. So if you buy the Scorpius, you'll be halfway there. You know. Yeah. How but much you is have the to Scorpius? wait. You have to wait for the Scorpius, you would have to wait until... Uh, you know, another thing you could do is... You could upgrade now to one ship below the Scorpius. Right. And then you just buy the last little piece uh, that might be 20 bucks on the impound side. Right. But yeah, first, if, you, if you're going to do that, first check uh, on the impound side what is the uh, smallest uh, CCU they have to the Scorpius. Okay. Uh, you don't want to... Yeah. And then you upgrade to that ship, and then you... Uh, is yeah, I only paid fifteen bucks to. Go ahead, sorry. Is it Hangar Seven? Yeah, no, we're we're in the. Uh, we have to re pull it out. Hold on. All right, cool. I'll come to the spaceport. Also, I need a party invite. All right, hold on. I'll Hangar Three. Uh, yeah, I can't see. Uh, I see, but it shouldn't matter too much. Okay, I just sent you the invite. Let me know when you get it. Got it. I can see signal. <coughs> yeah, it bugs out sometimes. I just can't see. I see. Yeah. All right. You said we're we're uh, hangar seven. Ah, uh, three. Hangar three. Three. All right. What seat should I be in? Uh, you can take gunner or co-pilot. Gosh, I'm gonna see. I don't mind. Whichever one you want. Um, so, um, Chef, I'm gonna give you this backpack that I've been talking about. I just set it up. The only thing it doesn't have is the undersuit and the, uh, and the armor that we're gonna get. But the rest of the stuff is there. So let me see now. Uh, how do I, uh, so how do I take the backpack and put it in my hands? Um. There should be a... I don't know. Is Can there a carry option? It? I could drop it, but uh, Shubin said that the most uh, reliable way is to just first you put it in your hands. If you right click what it, can you not carry it? Um, oh, I see what you're saying. Oh, that's so, smart. So first I take it out of my, of my back and I put it in the local uh, inventory. Look at this cool guy. Got the shades on. <laughs> Dude, the fucking backpack disappeared. I put it in the local. So, you cannot see any backpack anywhere, right? Uh, no. This is fucking ridiculous. Well, it might appear later, uh, but... 
Oh, I know why. Okay, I'm a, I'm a fucking retard. Uh, I had, I had the sorting to. Uh... Wait, it's, now it's with the backpacks. But how do I know which? Because I got a bunch of the same backpacks. How do I know which one? You can open them. You can right click and hit open. Mm. See what's in it. I finally found it, and um, just to make things faster, I'm just going to drop it on the ground, hopefully. Yeah, so you can just pick it from the ground. Oh, it dropped as a backpack. Normally, I think it drops as a... Uh... Me. So for the time being, just put it in your back. I don't think I can, because it's I don't have heavy armor. All right. Uh, what else could we do with it? Uh, put it on the on the ship's local storage. Okay. And don't uh, get, don't leave first. Again, I need to put some stuff on me. Just give me one minute. All right. It's in the local storage for now. Yeah. Let me know when to take off. Alright, we're good. Let's go. Good. So we're headed to Crew L4. Got it. Get your landing gear. Thank you, sir. Um, figure out why the mark didn't show up.
Every time I alt tab, when I when I try to alt tab back in, it shows me 30k screen, and it's just like a yeah, shock. Oh, maybe it's still bugged out from the last 30k we had. Yeah. Did you alt tab four after that one, or did you just leave Star Citizen open? I left it open, I think. Oh, that could be why. We're closing in. So I signal the chef here has 500 hours in rust. Cool. Pretty much. I'm not proud of it. You should be proud of it. Nah, <laughs> I, I am. It's, it's just a, you know, it's rust. Like, come on. I used to, dude. I used to play the shit out of that game. You can, you can, you can just stay a whole week, do nothing else, like play. That's you know, what I did, hours bro. Yeah, yeah. That's what I did when I was like just out of high school. That's all I did. How old are you? I'm 27. Right. I'm 45. No, are you really? Yeah, I'm really. <laughs> you don't sound like it. I do look your age though. Like if you see me, like I I, I do BMX and stuff like that, and I look like I'm 25. Yeah. Playing games keeps you young, man. <laughs> hey, amen to that, dude. We gotta get to the station now. I've never been here to L4 yet. Blend together in my mind, like I have no idea which ones I've been to. Right. They, they seem to me like you know highway truck stop stations. Like how how do you remember which one? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, give me a hanger, bro. Thank we'll you. see if we don't need to go in a hangar. Can you just, without authorization, just hang out from outside and we pick up the stuff? Yeah, I'll try that. We got a hangar, but... I'll just try to hover. West signal, check it out. Alright, give me a sec. Alright, uh, can you just stop this ship? Because I've got access and stop, but if I keep getting knocked over, I can't access it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Do you that keep getting sense. knocked uh, over even if it's just going slowly? It depends. I think it's from the, the jolty movements. I suppose for the sake of immersion, we should land. Because, you know, how are you... Uh... Yeah, go ahead and land. I already got it. Okay, oh, you're good. good. Okay, yeah. forget. So, All right. So stop the engine then. Stop the engine completely, uh, so that we can, uh, so that you can gear up. We can help you gear up. How do you want to do this? Um. Well, he's gonna have to. Uh, he could drop on the floor for the time being. He could just drop on the floor the pieces one by one. Uh, start with the um, with the um, suit, the flight with the um, undersuit. Just one second. Okay, cool. Alright, this is the suit. Then move on with the um with the core and with that he can put the backpack on his back. Yeah.
as the coal. Pretty cool undersuit, man. So where, where do you buy all of this? Like the the place we're at right now. The place where we're right now, yeah, that's the only place in the whole solar system where you can buy the stuff that we the, the, the undersuit you can buy from elsewhere, but the um, the armor is only here. And Beyond the rest down. of the stuff that I gave you, the backpack that I gave you, and everything inside it is from Marco. Um, you have to put, um, don't put the thing. Oh, in, yeah. yeah, I need the put leg the armor. Yeah. Oh. Alright, there's the leg Sweet. armor. Sweet. And try the helmet too. All right, helmets down. Did you get the helmet? Yeah, it's uh, I stored it. Cool. And uh, you can also put the uh, put the rifle um, on the left side of the uh, backpack. Uh, I don't think I have one. I, I put the rifle on the. Uh, I'm pretty sure I put the rifle on the back, but I might have been mistaken. Let me see. If I have. If you don't have it, I think I have one in the ship. Yeah, yeah. Uh, use whatever you have then, and let's just um, let's just go. Uh, let's get. Let's take a bunker mission. Uh, you know what? I don't have one. What signal? What's that was that? chef. Yeah, I mean, we, we won't get them here. I don't think we'll get them here because we're off at a Lagrange point. Like, we're way away from any planet. So you need to go back to Arcorp. Okay, just or go to one of the Arcorp's uh, moons and let's land at an outpost. But let's go back to Arcorp, get a mission, go to the moon. I can't believe you still haven't seen a cyclone. It's, my, it's probably one of my favorite vehicles. Alright, which moon? Does it matter? Like which planet? At, for the you time land being, on? just go on orbit around Arcorp so we can take the mission, and then that will tell us what, where to go. Okay, I got you. Let me know when everyone's sitting, so I don't knock them I'm over. I'm ready. I'm in. Let's go. I always find it so difficult to like fly out of the gravity wells. I think. Try. What are you looking for? Our core, but it doesn't. So if you press them. if you press F two, you can do it in the star map. And that'll isolate. Yeah, it's, that's what I. Yeah, but it doesn't show up because I think we're in the gravity well. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't think I've ever had that issue. I usually warp straight from no. the space station. Do you know how to set a route no. in the sky map? Yeah, I don't. I think something bugged out. I, right. I couldn't see it at first. Yeah, it's very buggy. The sky map. Appreciate it though. Our citizen buggy? No. 
So how much is his armor set? You said 20k? Uh, maybe with all the weapons and stuff. Uh, I'm not sure exactly. 15 to 20k around there. Why'd you settle on this one? Just because it looked the most badass? It's, uh, it's a long story. Uh, we went through some uh, different choices. I was trying to find something... It has to look badass, but uh, because we have... Uh, right now we use three ranks, but eventually I want to use five ranks. So I don't need just one badass, I need five badass. Uh, ah, okay. It's very difficult, there's not that many. You know, there's some that look good, but they have like weird elements. And, uh, they, uh, sure. and the other thing is that they have to like have the same theme. Um, because some of the armors are like military themed, some are more cyberpunk, and um, in the beginning we had a mix. So for example, my friend's uh, rank now, Y Signals, is, is a military, whereas mine and yours is more like cyberpunk. And now I've made some changes to his armor, you're going to see it in a couple of days, and then all of our armors now will look cyberpunk. And um, the other thing is the colors, uh, because I try to color match the, the vehicles with the armors, that means it's best if the armors are a neutral color like white, black, silver. I'm cool with that, yeah. You I don't see, do and the then, flashy and, stuff. Yeah, and then that means that means um, that means you know we have different. We have a bunch of vehicles, and we look good with all of them. Yeah. And um, yeah, I mean, I, right now, if you see all 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 the uh, three four ranks that I have, I think they're the coolest armors in the game. Um, we're gonna have extra in the future, like for example, if we're gonna have a scout uh, or an assassin or um, the sniper, we're gonna have specific armor just for that one guy. Uh, I'd be cool with a scout, man. I'd be, I'd be, that'd be sweet. The thing is, right now, because we don't have that many players, if you give each player like a different, uh, you know, um, role and a different armor, then we look like we're not a team. So at first. I'm trying to keep uh, as many people as possible in like a few ranks, two, three ranks. And then at some point, I would like to have 20, 30, 40 people. And then when you have that many people, then you can have one guy who's a scout. one guy Because, you know, they're going to put like uh, stealth mechanics in like from Splinter Cell. Yeah, yeah. And uh, you're going to have to Don't send... they already have some of those um, like assassin missions where you go and extract data? Or is that not in yet? They do have some of that, and you know, there's also the knife that you can do silent takedowns if you have a knife on your, um, on your loadout. But yeah. uh, in the dynamic events right now, they're not super um, useful. In the dynamic yeah. events right now, like raw power and numbers is what uh, gets you further. True, true. Although you can't take someone down with just the middle mouse button, which I find hilarious. Yeah. I can't wait for the next dynamic event. I think it should be on soon, man. I think it's going to be cool. We might even have 10 people or something in, and then we can bring all sorts of vehicles. They haven't had one in a while. It's been like two months at least uh, that they haven't had one. They sound fun. When I watched the... Um, I don't know if you've seen the like a lot of Star Citizen videos, but um, this something bananas guy made a yes um, yes i've seen everybody dude, seen it. that's amazing yeah dude that's all of his out. videos are yeah dude all of his videos are so good and he so only puts out a the, video like once a year i know i know it's great he only has three star citizen videos and they're all bangers all right so we want to go to a mining outpost right right now don't do anything let's get a mission first you know, come on right. you guys get a mission I'll leave that up to signal. Alright, taking a look. Yeah, I didn't have anything in the mercenary tab. Let me see if I have anything. What else could we do that involves ground? Uh, there you are... know what, fuck it. Let's just go, let's just go to an outpost and, and, and put on the uh, cycle. And by then, maybe something will have appeared, you know? I mean, I think you guys. I have one. Yeah, you guys could check as well. I think this was. I'm sharing it with you guys right now. Yeah, this is the bunker mission. All right, so get us there, uh, and don't get us. Uh, get us to like the close uh, like an outpost that's like sort of near there. Is this in space? No. No, it's on Walla. I see. Okay. So it's a jump away. Quantum 
my crypto yeah, is I... going up, so I'm happy. <laughs> oh, very nice. Very nice. Uh, if Never it get goes up, that. I'm going to buy some more stuff. I have a, like a whole list of stuff I want to buy from Star Citizen. <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh, there's a mining area right there. I think this will have what we need. Yeah, any mining area is fine. Alright. Quantum drive is now on. Pretty close by, too. It's only about 20 kilometers away. Oh, we should have taken out. We're also going to take out a uh, Pisces. So. We can do that here. Probably. Yeah, so West Signal, you're gonna take out your Pisces and I'm gonna take out my uh, my Cyclone. Okay. Quantum drive is now off. So, you see, uh, Chef, that when you have like three guys like this and we have like uh, the Pisces, it's gonna be quite hard to kill all of us. Yeah. I don't think I've seen the Pisces either. Pretty cool. It's a little we have a paint, a special paint on the Pisces. We don't have the. We have like a camel paint, not the red, bright red, you know. I think the bright red paint is cool if you're running rescues for people, rescue beacons, but if you have like a military operation of your own, it's better to have the uh, camel. Right. can't remember what I have it set on. I should be able to change it here it, anyway. Yeah, yeah. Dude, I love so much just people flying me around in this game. So that I have all the time to just enjoy. I don't have to worry about pinging the ground and you know my speed and all that bullshit. Oh, you're a good pilot. For two weeks, you're good. Thanks, man. You're better than me. <laughs> Alright, so are we loading this up with anything, or...? Yep, we're loading um, it up. Alright. I'm gonna go check out some of the buildings, see if there's any loot in them. On any red crates, that would be pretty fucking sweet. Welcome to the ASOP vehicle retrieval system. Your insurance claim has been sent. So the, my cyclone will take two two minutes to get here. All right, that'll give me enough time to run around and loot some shit. Insurance claim has been sent. Thank you. Please visit us again. Goodbye.
Welcome to the ASOP Vehicle Retrieval System. Vehicle selected. Your vehicle Stand has by. been delivered to the following location. Please visit us again. Alright, I gotta change the paint. Welcome to the ASOP Vehicle Retrieval System. Vehicle select. Your vehicle has been delivered. Found a red crate. Let's go. Pink armor. Just what I wanted. I don't have the other Pisces paint for some reason. Oh, see that? Yeah, you'd have to have brought it with me. That's all right. Oh, yes, yes. You have to have brought it with you. All right. So I'll take mine. What's the Pisces? Is that the bike or what? It's a rescue Pisces vehicle. Is the medical the the level one medical uh, ship? Oh, it's a ship. Yeah. You can spawn it here. Yes, yeah, very small. Uh, all, only very small ships. That's an advantage of the small ships that they can be spawned anywhere. Oh shit. Um. Okay. So. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna leave this here for you to park, uh, Chef. So if you come to the back of your yep. um, and uh, park it uh, with a back, so that are you good? Dude, what the fuck? I fell on. <laughs> yeah, that was fucking hilarious. All right, I think I'm good. You know. So the paint that that uh, buggy has, the rover has, is the same paint that we use for your Gladius. If you want to buy it, it's five bucks. It's called the Frostbite. Yeah, it looks pretty sick. I'm not gonna. And lie. then all our stuff, you know, will match. And we have the same paint for the Hornet. Um, but if you buy a Hornet with your friend, um, you generally won't be using it when you're with us. You'll be using it just with your friends, so you don't need a um, a paint for that. Right. Unless you want to. There's other paints too. There's all sorts of. Um... Yeah, I haven't even I haven't even looked at any of the paints yet. There's just so many. There's a lot. Yeah, there's a lot. And some of them are like limited edition. You can only get them in the gray market, and uh, those usually are the coolest. Oh, jeez, okay, it's five minutes for the... I'm gonna pay the fee, though, for the, uh... Why am I radar locked? Uh... This... I don't see anybody. I don't either. Man, I see a massive group to our... Directly to the front of the ship. There's, like, four or five. Really? Yeah. They could just be wrecks. No, they're in space. Is that what you meant? Like, they could be wrecks in space? Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know. These radar pings, sometimes they bug out. You get some weird stuff. And I'm not sure if it's just that they're wrecks. And so they still show up on radar. Because they're white. Right. Right, 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 right. Thirty seconds for the Pisces. Cool. Cool. Who's taking the Pisces? Signal. Okay. Oh, that's right. I'm usually the guy who gets shot, <laughs> so <laughs> we're just bringing it for me, really. Using the bice is so much fun that you kind of want to get shot, so that you, you have to use it. Yeah, I don't think I've seen it. I mean, I might have seen it, but I don't. Ha I can't put the name to it, if you know what I mean. Yeah, they only added it to the game uh, last November, so it's only been in the game a few months. And oh, lots of people cool love this little ship. Um, are you in, Icy? Yeah. So, oh, I fell off the fucking stairs. Jesus. 
he took a dive off the stairs, but he's good. He's good. <laughs> he's a clutch. All right. Um, the ship is here, Westinghall, so you can come get it. And I'm gonna board the, um, the Cutlass. I see you running. Run faster. Cool if they had a treadmill in the gyms and then you just had to like run there for like half an hour a day. Yeah, level up your <laughs> your speed or something. They're adding that stuff, you know, they're adding skills like that. Um, there's actually a thread today on Spectrum and people were saying, um, you know, there were people that don't like, want these skills. We got a red. Yeah, I'm being targeted. Or is that you? I see him. No, no, I see him. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, there he is. Should yeah, I fight him? Just no. No, no. No? no. Uh, I think it's an NPC, so there's nothing to worry about. I should just go. That, that constellation, is that what you're talking about? It's a cutlass. Oh, it's a cutty. Yeah. Is it shooting? It could be. If you just fly off. If we're gonna right. fight, if we're gonna fight, you you could land and we take out two furies. They're the snub ships, and then those furies are gonna do some damage. But let's do the mission that we took. And yeah, uh, what's Are there. you coming? Where are you? I've already taken off. Okay. Yeah, he's he's moving around. I think he's ahead of us now. He's going fast. He's uh, that little ship is fast. No, the uh, sorry, the enemy. Oh, the enemy. Yeah, he's he might be coming after me. It's all right. I'm turning around. Yeah, I'm I'm radar locked too. Where is he? He just disappeared on my screen. Well, uh, I'm gonna take the turret then, just in case. Let me know if you see him up there. He's probably somewhere, no but anymore. he's probably somewhere between you and me, because I think he was chasing me, and I flew off. So I'm just warp, warp into the objective. You're warping there. Quantum. Interesting. I mean, we're, we're pretty. We're around here, boys. We're pretty uh, close. Oh, anyway. I see him. I see him. Is that him or is that? I can't tell. If it's white or red. I'm being shot at. Question no, mark? that's me. I just, I just. Uh, oh, oh. Click just to see if the thing is on. All right, where did you land? Are you still up there? I haven't landed yet. All right, we're landing like kind of a uh, couple of kilometers away. All right. Okay, I'll come to you then. Stopped Attention. by the space police. Hey, at least they're here for you know. Do they ever help them? Well, they could help in this in this scenario, you know. Checks out. Go. So I'm going to wait for you to take out the uh, rover and then I'll close up. All right.
It's coming into land now. Copy. Signal? Yeah, that's him. Uh, go, go next to him and uh, go in the back so you can see what it looks like inside. It's pretty cool. It has a medical bed and it has a, it has no, a cupboard with uh, with drugs and stuff. No, signal didn't say that. Say what? Uh, the space police are here. Oh yeah. Um, if you're being asked to stop, you need to you need to stop. But you're not in the ship, so. That's what I'm saying. He just told me to stop. I guess your cyclone's getting scanned. <laughs> I've never had that happen before, but... This is a pretty cool ship, Yeah, man. it's this guy, it's this guy. Uh, you can see him. Oh, yeah. What do you want, bro? What do you want? All right, let's get this show on the road. As long as you um, don't have any red text, it's probably safe to ignore him. All right, let's go don't start the yeah. engine yet. Um, actually, I signal leave. Uh, okay. Yeah, get in the back. Get in the back. Now, I want to take a picture before we go. Right on. All three of us. All right. I got it. Let's go. All right. There he goes. What is he doing? Do you have red text? It's telling you to No, stop. bro. Just ignore him. Sometimes they just harass you for some, for some reason. You could try to shoot him down. Look at him, dude. <laughs> He's doing like low flight acrobatics. Flipping over. Hey, you do you, bro. We still gotta get over this little hill. Pretty nice ride, man. Right, I'm gonna stop like right up here. Nah, I still can't see it. We should go all the way with the vehicle. You don't get attacked by the defenses. Oh yeah? Okay. Yeah, it's only for air vehicles. I don't know if you. I didn't. There's no enemies outside ever. Uh, well, I'm on the turret. For this one, there shouldn't be. NPCs, uh, no, bud. You might get players. Yeah. Right. It just gives you an excuse to use the vehicles, really. Right, right. A dead dude right here. Good here. Or? Yeah, we're good. Yeah, it's good. Take the keys with you. You sure? All right. There are no keys. I'll grab them. <laughs> I know. I know. I know. Just fucking around. All right. So all I got is this pistol with thirteen bullets. That's all I need. Uh, all right. You're gonna grab something from the ground from the people we kill. Yeah. 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 Not a problem. Okay, West Signal, go first. Alright. Yeah, don't shoot anyone in a red uniform or who has a triangle yeah, above the head. Yeah, fuck. Learned my, learned my plan or lesson last night. Alright, cool. It's actually how Icy met me. Yeah, he posted oh, yeah. Uh, on, on Reddit a story.
There's so many dead, like, players here. I don't see any, uh... Lights right, above. Alright, they're up top, they're up head. top. The enemies are? Yeah, they're up, up top. I wanna shoot the wrong people. Yeah, there's no rush. There's eight wholesales, so that's quite a few. Are all the friendlies dead here? Uh, probably. But sometimes the indicators bug out. So you just gotta be a little careful. One in the middle reactor area, top floor. Yep. I'm gonna go up the stairs. I got two of me over here. I got one. I'm moving in. This is me. Okay, so there was just yeah, one I'm coming in. Uh, check out the back oh. as well. Take you can take this uh, this rifle here. Um, oh, you got one. Okay. Cool. It looks all clear back here. Whole top floor might be clear. What's the left one? Okay. Oh, he's stuck. He's in the wall. Hmm. Oh, you got him. Got him. <laughs> Just pick up an LMG and unload hell. So how do you guys play this? Do you guys loot or no? Sure. Seen any red boxes so far? Yeah, I don't think there are any this time. They might have gotten looted by all these naked people. Yeah, true. 
Let's just get out of here. I got an, I got some weapons, so I'm cool. That's a big hole. That is big. Oh, this is a Bayering LMG, dude. That's that's dope. I'm in. Alright. Try to change my weapon loadout real quick. I don't want to open the storage. Alright. Hold on a second. Where's that dirty cop at trying to get a ransom out of me? What are you gonna do with the uh, Cyclops? You wanna store it or? Yeah, let's put it back on the. Uh... Alright. So I'm probably gonna take off for the night here after this. Yeah, um. You can actually keep it. So, if you store. Uh, well, if you. if you What happens if he logs out, West Eagle? Does he keep the uh, Cyclone or no? Yeah, until you claim it, I think. Right. So Alright, I gotta get I gotta get out. So just wait a sec. Yep. You yeah. don't wanna get decapitated. Correct. Yeah, I gotta get right. out anyway. Or I'm actually out. can you open the, the door real quick for yeah, me? I'll do it. Please. I got it. Someone. There you go. Thanks. Yeah, this uh Space you can log here. out in your bed just after you put it on, close the oh, door. Oh that's look. right. Yeah, I totally forgot about that. I was about to fly all the way back to a fucking station. No. That's the good thing about having a, a ship with a bed, you know, because the your Gladius doesn't have a bed. No. I had a 300i that had a bed. I loved it, and then I, and then I upgraded that to the to this. Wait, will it let me? Since I'm trespassing here. Let's see. Unowned vehicle and ship. I can't have this in here. Oh. Oh, I see. Um, how about you try to take out the vehicle and then try sleeping again? Take out the vehicle? Yeah. Alright. Is that when you, when you got the message, when you try to sleep? Yep, 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 yep. Okay, so yeah, take it out. That's vehicle. weird, though. Uh, what yeah, you could do is, if you fly back to any, uh, and you and you store it in the station, then you get to keep it. Uh, but, you know, if you don't have the time, just kick it out. Yeah, I don't, unfortunately. But tomorrow's Friday, so, like, I'll be on... All night, basically. Yeah, people will be playing. I'll be playing too if I get a good night's sleep, and uh, hopefully all through the weekend we'll have people playing. Yeah. Yeah, I'm all for it. I posted a couple of pictures of us. Check them out. Yeah, I'm looking at them right now. I got a second monitor with it open. Nice. I like the first picture you snapped. Because it shows like all three vehicles that we took out, right? Yeah. 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 All right. Did my vehicle just despawn? Yep. Nice. Online. 
All right, gentlemen. It was nice meeting you. Nice meeting yeah, you. Yeah, same. See. Yeah. See ya. I'll be on tomorrow, so I'll just talk to you tomorrow then. Catch you later. See ya. Peace. Well, is there any way we can we can save the cyclone? No. Is there um, nearby a uh, a base we could drive it to? Uh, well, we could drive it back, I guess. But uh, how far is it? It's probably drivable. Let me check the map. I have already taken off though, so. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's forget about. It. Let's just go. Um, what do we want? What do you want to do? Why don't we go to Cruel Four and just buy some of these? Some of these and uh, make a few packs for people because this guy has a couple of friends he might bring. Right. Pretty cool. If he does bring, let's say he brings one friend, then we got five people, five new people at this point. I think we've ever had that many people join that quickly. No, no. Uh, and let, you know, you weren't here when we were playing Rust before you came, uh, and at that point, I had brought like ten people in. Within like because I was playing. Imagine playing ten hours a day, and then you just uh, invite people on Steam all the time. Be right. th because the ideal is when they join, you want to be in a voice channel. You don't want them to join when there's nobody playing. Ideally, so you want to invite people while you're playing. And um, Star Citizen, you can play two three hours, but uh, Rust, you know, we used to play five ten hours at least every day. And so that you could build a fucking army. The problem is that the, the people would start if you if you bring a lot of people at the same time who don't know each other, they start fighting between themselves. And then uh, you know eventually you know we got uh, betrayed. You know, guy drop is still at base, and then uh, it's all this sort of. But uh, Rust has a much worse player base than uh, Star Citizen. Star Citizen they're more uh, more mature, older. Rust has cool people, but it also has like retarded people. So. <laughs> and it's usually the, it's usually the retarded people who don't have friends to play with, and they ask right. on Steam for uh, fortunately. <laughs> so you know, I would make a whole team of retards, and then then it would be horrible. <laughs> like it would be good for a while, and then problems will start to arise. So what I want to do with these guys now is not invite anybody else until I've um, until these people know each other. Right. I don't know how long. Unless it's midweek and nobody's on, and I, I will feel like I want somebody. Pretty much, look, if you want, there's no reason for you to ever play this game alone at this point. Like, if you want to get somebody in your Discord, uh, if you jump around three, four, five, six Discords, eventually you'll get somebody to jump on. So, if you have a little bit of time, you know, and not if you're coming up for an hour or two, but if you're coming up for four, five, six hours, there's no reason uh, to play alone unless you want to play. So I also thought about the ranks, you know, because I wanted to have a lower rank for these guys. What we're going to do is, instead of having a lower rank, we're going to have a higher rank. So the Inquisitor is going to be the bottom rank. Because, right. you know, uh, and then once we have like 20 Inquisitors, then I'm going to move all the cult people one rank up, and I'm going to move you guys one rank up. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, but we're not changing, the, you know, we don't need more than three ranks as long as we have less than like 20, 30 people. So when are we going to get to see this new loadout? Oh yeah, this <laughs> okay. new loadout. Um, I was making today some changes. Look, oh, yeah. uh, I want to take the pictures now, but I'm playing. I'd rather play with this guy and integrate him into the clan rather than take pictures. Makes so, sense. So uh, I hope that doesn't happen. No, that's not going to happen. The worst case scenario, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to tell you what the loadout is. Basically, right now I I have a choice between you, you're going to be using the same understood you're using now, but instead of being camel green, it's going to be frostbite. It's going to be arctic or whatever. Um, and then you're going to be using the same core, but it's going to be again arctic. And then the question is, what about the legs and the arms? 
either they can be the same but Arctic, or they can be the higher, uh, the uh, the ADP, whatever, the uh, the bigger one, the bigger armor, white. Uh, and then the helmet is gonna be that uh, green goblin helmet in silver. Nice. That looks amazing. You know why that? You know why the helmet looks amazing? It looks amazing because that that helmet looks like it's the leader of the Inquisitors. Right. It's the same sort of style as the Inquisitors, but you can actually see his eyes. Yeah. And, and he has like a red. So he looks definitely that guy is the leader of the Inquisitors. So uh, that's pretty much it. And I'm just uh, debating now about the backpack because. Uh, because the helmet is uh, silver and the armor is the white, they go well together. But then, it's uh, if you put the green backpack in the back, uh, then you have three colors and they don't match as well as the the camel uh, backpack. That but the problem with the camel backpack is that it's, first of all you have to buy from the subscribers store, so you have to buy like five six of them, and then just keep melting them. That's what I do. And the second is that that is a small backpack. It's not a medium backpack, so you cannot fit a lot of stuff. That uh, so the question is. Do we sacrifice some functionality for the sake because it looks much much better uh, with the camo? That's my only question. And I st I was playing around with color still to see if I can get a color that looks good. Um... What we could do is we could keep the uh, the olive military color with the uh, green goblin helmet, and then it will match the backpack. But I haven't actually tried this to see what it looks like. So I need I need to like do just a little bit more experimenting. Um, I think it'd be harder to match the green with the silver than the silver with the white. Um, no, the silver with the green, the silver goes with everything. That's the good thing about the silver. And then uh, the, the thing is that, you know, um, we, we could actually go now and try it. Like if you take us to our corp. We'd actually just, you know, finalize it now. Uh, well, we're here almost at the station, so we might as well grab some stuff and then go back. Yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Well, those guys first. Uh, but th this, uh, this uh, the trace with the backpack is really cool, the way uh, Shubin did it. You know, you have a bunch of backpacks and anybody drops in, boom, here's a backpack. And you know what? I realized that... Uh, in the beginning, I thought, you know, when you uh, tell people that uh, to wear a uniform, you know, they might uh, not like it. But because you're giving them free gear, they are actually, uh, they're glad that, you know, you're giving them money, basically. Right. And especially, you know, in this, in this easy manner where you just drop a backpack and everything is on it. Um, I have not got a bad reaction yet to the, uh, this guy was fine with it, the other two Americans were fine, the black guy was super fine, so I have not yet got a bad reaction. And the more of them you get, uh, then, let's say you have 12 of them and they look exactly the same, and, and the 13th guy comes on, you know, then it, it's harder for the 13th guy, like, he wants to be part of the group. You yeah. know, it's not like you're two people, it, it, it just gets easier and easier. Dude, I'm an idiot. I went to the wrong spot. That's why I don't like to fly. So, for a while I was thinking that Shubin might actually quit the clan, but he was cool enough that he hasn't quit. <laughs> you know, he sent me another uh, message that, um, after my second post, that you know, he's, uh, he will apologize again about how much he screwed up each other, and uh, we seem to be good. However, the um, you know the uh, the root of the problem hasn't been solved. Like it cannot be solved. The root of the problem is that uh, you know he doesn't like to stay up late at night, and so I told him that maybe you should stay away from the larger parade because he's great for midweek for like duos, trios, pods, but. You know, what happens when I have like 20 people in here and I need to spend the extra time, you know? And it's in the middle of the night, you know? But at least next time, you know, he's just going to log off. He's not going to start it. Yeah. That's kind of embarrassing. <clears throat> yeah, it was embarrassing for me at that moment. And, and I was I was caught I was caught aback. Like, I was not expecting... I was expecting the newcomers to create problems for me. I was not expecting my own people, you know? Um... So I didn't know how to respond at that time, and then, Please proceed to and then I, you know, I try to patch it up as much as I can. Like it's it's a bad thing when you're just coming into a new group and you can hear like hostility between themselves. It's terrible. Yeah. Terrible. Terrible. I I think I managed to paper it over a little bit, like um, you know, because 
it wasn't it wasn't very bad like he just said that you know he just uh, doesn't want to you know stay up in the middle of the night to play dress up or whatever that's basically what he said and so it wasn't like a full-on fight or anything but it was still just like a, you know an awkward moment but like you could hear his annoyance that's a problem like the annoyance um like that the, none of us would get annoyed by something like this worst case scenario if you're tired you log off but he i've seen him other times too like he uh, when he when it's something that he's not enjoying very much he he uh, instinctively replies with annoyance um and that's not good that's not good uh but you know they say about the french there that the french are rude or whatever so what are you gonna do but he you know Generally speaking, you know, he's great for role-playing and he has much patience and he's been playing with us for quite a while now. Not too long, just a year or something. Uh, I definitely wouldn't want to lose him. And uh, I'm sure he wouldn't want to lose us either, you know, who's he going to play with? Oh, by the way, I checked in the uh, in Star Citizen and Robo, Moon, Infernovia and Hangman are all, are all in the game. You can check, you know, you can just search for their usernames. <laughs> but the thing is, like, I can't, I can't, I, can't, I really can't see them playing. Like, uh, they'll play a little bit and then... Robo is gonna want to keep playing. The other guys, uh, Sergey is not gonna want to keep playing. It's not his kind of game, and Infernovia is just you know he doesn't operate well. So Robo is gonna end up you know Robo's brother doesn't play shit. He only plays Overwatch. So Robo is just gonna end up uh, playing alone basically, and then he's not gonna play because alone this game. The, if the by only the way, we're, we're here. He, we're here. By the way, oh. yep. he Sorry. could join. A, he could join an org, but that takes work, you know. And that. All right, so. Um, so you can put the stuff on the ship without getting out, right? Yeah, but, I've only uh, got one, yeah, set, one set. I could go buy more if you want. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna go buy. Uh, I'm gonna buy a couple, and you're gonna buy a couple, and we're gonna try to like make the backpacks, make the actual backpacks. Um, are you in the ship? Oh no, I'm already. I've already gone into the lift. All right, I'm on my way. There's a new episode of the Star Star Season. Uh, did you watch it earlier? Probably not, right? No, I don't watch a lot of videos. Yeah. But when you I have to watch at least inside inside Star Season. That's the one thing you have to watch. Like ten minutes every week. That's it. Every Thursday. Okay. Yeah, I'll give that one a go. Um, this one shows uh, fire propagation in ships, and you've never seen anything like it. It looks like a movie. Like your whole fucking ship burning, and you're like, oh, I have to get out. Everything's burning. Everything's on fire. Amazing. Wow. That'd be really cool for the uh, bigger ships, especially. Definitely. You know, maybe they'll have firefighting mechanics. They all have, yeah, they will have that sort of thing. But just like it, lo it looks so believable. You feel like it, I've never seen anything like that in games. Uh, also, they're having lightning, where your ship can be struck by lightning, or your character can be struck with lightning. Like in, in especially in clouds. So you'll be going through a cloud. Oh, so it's not just like in combat that you can get this. No, no, it's um, environmental, so that the mission designers can make more moody. Um... So this, uh, what is this name of this? Um... If you search for black mm -hmm. steel, okay. that will give you the right stuff. And I think it's just those parts that you need for this for this yes, particular thing. Exactly those parts. That makes it easy. So I want to see how many. I'm buying two of each at, at first to see. And that's all we buy from here? There's nothing else, is there? Pretty sure, yeah. I'll check the list in yep. a minute. We got two from each. And let me see now how much money I got left. Uh... 149,000. No, I could buy a bunch more. So oh, yeah, you also have to, I think you might also have to get the undersuit here. Yes, you're right. You're a stone skin. Wait, um... Dude, fuck it. I'm gonna buy 10 of each. Um... Can the ship fit that much, though? Not sure. I've never really run out of space just carrying uh, 
you know, just like regular armor and stuff. So I don't really know what the. I mean, it has a the the, the cutlass has a lot of space. I would assume that ten should fit. We don't have a cutlass now. We have the freaking. Um... Yeah, but we can get the cutlass we can out. We get the cutlass then, yeah. Dude, yeah, well, I'm so happy we have all these people. Look, if I, I look, I, I've been waiting for more of our own people to get in, but I'm gonna die of old age if I keep waiting. So I had to yeah. do something. I'm just gonna go claim the cutlass. So he already has a cutlass. He just bought. He just upgraded to a gladius because I told him to, and uh, he got, he might get the frostbite. So he's very cooperative. Um, it'd be awesome to uh, if he sticks around. Welcome to the ASOP vehicle retrieval system. Also, you can't stack armor, it seems. Your insurance claim has been sent. Ah, uh, you can stack some of them. Thank like, you, you can't stack the core, I don't think, but you can stack arms, yes, legs. Uh, maybe not legs. You can stack arms not and leg, helmets. Not legs, just try it. Okay. Yeah, I think it's just arms and helmets. And then when you click move all, does it keep the stacking? I believe so, yeah. If you're rich and you buy in bulk, then, um, you know, you just spend one hour doing this and then you don't have to do it for, like, weeks. I wish the sword... Does the sword work for you? Does it do anything the sword button? Yeah, it seems to work. What I want is a consolidate button that will consolidate all your stacks together. Yeah, yeah, yes, exactly. I thought that that's what the sword would do. No, I think it just, um, because normally it's sorted in terms of which thing you accessed last. Like when you put, when you put, well, I don't know if it's access, but like if you put something in, I think it just goes to the bottom. So the sorting just does it by, by type. I also like to be able to sort or get indicators for like, uh, what is in which thing. Like it, with your backpacks, for example, it'd be cool if you yes, could mouse yes, over yes. and just instantly see what's inside it. Absolutely, absolutely. Alright, accidentally bought too many arms. How many did you buy of each? Four. Well, I bought three and I have one, so I have four in total. I'm just gonna go to the forum and check the spec. Just to double check. Why don't why don't you go up to ten like me? Uh because I'm a tight ass. I like to, I like to say it's funny. <laughs> okay. The thing you is, the that, thing is, uh, if you have ten, you're the most likely person to be on when these people come that is anyway. True, that is true. So, uh, by the way, um, uh, well, Shubin had six million, and I asked him to send two million to the uh, to the bank. But uh, you know, whenever you need money, just ask Shubin. He never runs on money. Okay. He's, cool. Maybe he should be the bank. <laughs> no, but, <laughs> he can be the banker. No, but, the, the 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 problem the problem with him being in the bank is like you, you know we won't be able to withdraw whenever we want. Yeah. Uh, how many this armor? How many um, ammo does it take? That's what I. Uh... I don't know because I don't use it. Yeah. Yeah, I hope they. Um, I assume eventually there'll be like org banking, some kind of better banking mechanics. Yeah. yeah. Who knows how long that will take? Huh? See, that would actually probably be an easy thing for them to build. Because <laughs> it's just a database thing, pretty much. But they have a billion things to do. Um, with the, um, the comm stuff, I was thinking about that the other day. Um... Like, I think the I, I don't know any way to do this, but 
we have we already have kind of this problem that you know you jump on a channel people are talking you got to decide you know is now the time to interrupt and yeah. maybe they're maybe that what they're doing is more important it'd be cool if we had a, a system no, no 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 it's it's almost always more important to um synchronize what the ships are doing than what anything is happening in any single ship so if you it, when you are the when you are the you know the master chief and you're jumping between channels just Speak over anybody. You know, the moment you jump in, I want to know immediately what you're saying. It doesn't matter what the others are saying. Okay. Okay. But the ideal is what I told you. Because with what I told you, then you don't have to speak over anybody. You just click a button and you speak in my ear. Yeah. What you can actually do is you can set up a priority speaker. So you can press a button and it, will, it won't mute everyone. I don't think it mutes everyone else, but it dials their volume down. So if everyone's in a loud conversation, you can press that button. Um... And, and you can yeah, speak. Uh, I'd rather not have to use that though. I'd rather, for the time being, I'd rather just speak over them. Uh, but you know, we definitely need to. Um, it's really just figure it's, out. it's just a question of what the protocol is, and I think at the moment it's just like you just interrupt if you feel you need to. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Um, you know, that's always going to be the protocol within a channel. But the question is, you know, if we can set up a cross-channel communication, then that would be the ideal. Because then it, it, it's just so simple then that you just press one button and you talk into my ear and, and nobody can hear you in your channel and uh, nobody can hear you in my channel. I can only hear you it goes straight to my ear. Yeah, we, but used, the, we used that back in uh, PlanetSide two days. The, the tri so, but with that though, the problem is you'd have to sort of be like, you know, come in icy. Because I don't know, because you might be in the middle of a conversation. If I just start speaking, it's going to get confusing. No, I'd be, no, I'd no, be no, like... No, no. It's not going to get confusing at all. You're overthinking it. You click and you speak in my ear and you say whatever you want. I, I, my brain can process the two things at the same time. Oh, yeah. I'm not even sure. Uh, it, is, it might be that even when you press that, no, it doesn't mute the other guys in my channel. Uh, I mean, I suppose if, you, if you're talking, you, you just tell them to your own channel. It mutes you in your own channel. Yeah, I'm asking so what you So the guys want. around you will not be able to hear you. Yeah. But that's Mumble, again, I don't even know if Mumble is still around. I don't know why people would still use Mumble instead of Discord, except that's like the only feature that... Um, It'll probably still be around because it's open source. So unless it's drifted out of sync with something, it should be fine. It should work. Yeah, Crew L4... Do you have all the stuff that you need? Yeah, so it's just, it's just the stuff that we got from Crew L4. All right. that's so I'm ready to go. Yeah, it would be best if you guys switch to the new gear so that the, the new guys did not get confused when they see you with new stuff. And by the way, yeah, um, I have new gear too. The problem with my new gear is that um, um, I can't readily access it. So for daily missions, I'm going to have to keep using the, the stuff that I'm using now is going to be the commanders. So it's going to be the one rank above you is going to be the stuff I'm wearing right now. And then the one rank above that is going to be the black stuff that I have uh, mostly in this group. Welcome to the ASOP vehicle retrieval system. Alright. Alright, couple So the troops ready. are silver, the two officer the ranks are white, and then the, the Supreme location. Commander is black. Okay. So, sorry, which is the black one you were talking about? Is this a new one? That, have we seen that yet? If you scroll up on Discord, I'll post it. Okay. It shows being black armor with some glasses, with some wraparound glasses. It's uh, the Xenothread stuff. Right, okay. And um, I already have a set uh, that um, Shubin found and he looted. The only way you can get that stuff is loot. But you can also buy them. Uh, there's people that I might be able to um, give them to me. So we'll see. The helmet is an issue. But uh, I'll post in the form later. I'll explain. Why is there no move all? Oh, there's no move all. Sometimes you have to drag it. one thing and then that button oh. will appear. Yes, you're right. It did. All right. And oh, I put all the stuff in and it's only 7%. So we're good. Yeah. That was so easy. Dude, in the past, you know, there was no move all. Yeah, it's a huge pain in the ass. All right, let's go back to our quick thing.
So yeah, if we spend uh, just a few minutes, we can finalize your uh, armor. You are clear to and, launch. Uh,
There's still that ship stuck at the top there, you can see it. The same hangar we were in before. Which ship? If you look above us, uh, in one of the uh, ledges above us, there's oh, right, a ship. Yeah. So I'm going to show you um, uh, the um, your new gear, and then you can show it if you're ever together with the West, uh, with uh, Rickle or Chev. Also, I will do it too. But don't post it anywhere uh, or pictures because I want to make like one post in the front page that that looks amazing um, instead okay. of just posting one picture. Uh, so you can just you know, basically learn it by heart. And now with this, uh, with this, uh, these four ranks that I have now, 
we have achieved what we wanted, which is um, uh, aesthetic consistency. So all four of them now uh, have the uh, cyberpunk basically cultist. It looks like like a hardcore nutshell. Um, they look like nutshells, all four ranks. And uh, I have some pictures where the, the leader actually looks like the biggest nutshell of them all. You'll see it. It's some, you know, because he's in he, you know, he's he's uh, all right. Did you find a helmet for that one? Well, yeah, it's six hundred bucks. Uh, it's with the uh, it comes with the Mantis uh, original concept. Uh, but you can only uh, get one, right? Yes, you get only one. Well, unless you buy, you know, <laughs> three times six hundred bucks. But even if you bucks. buy three, even if you buy three, listen, even if you buy three. You cannot melt it and rebuy it, you know? You have to wait for the next wipe. So... Oh, it's not... You don't get store... It doesn't feed into your store credit. Uh, if you melt it, first of all, you're not going to get your 600, 600 bucks. You're only going to get what it costs, which is like, you know, 150 bucks or something. So first of all, you lose like a lot of fucking money if you melt it. Um, because you bought it from the scalpers in the third... in the gray market. Um, right, yeah, okay. You call them scalpers. I don't know if there's a better name for them. Actually, they're providing they're providing a service. Those people, um, they're giving they're taking stuff from the poor and they're giving it to the rich. <laughs> like without the scalpers, I wouldn't I wouldn't have been able to get all the stuff that I'm getting now. Like there was no there would be no way. You would have had to play the game from 2012. So what I'm, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. First of all, the the wraparound goggles that I have look fantastic with this armor, this uh, Xenothrid armor. So um, my character is not supposed to be in the front lines anyway. So let's say we're taking out the hammerhead. I'm gonna go on the hammerhead with my full armor that you know is the lootable armor. It's hard to get, but it's not impossible to get. And he's gonna be wearing his glasses because he's gonna be sitting in his desk in his office. Right. And then I'm gonna have on my second uh, computer an Inquisitor. So with my uh, icicle account, I'm gonna be giving orders to Recoil, and with my Inquisitor, I'll be receiving following orders from Recoil. You see what I'm saying? So yeah. I'll be able to be on the front lines, shooting like everybody else, having fun, and I'll also be able to just sit on my desk, which what my guy wants to do with his glasses. Not with her. why would he wear a helmet in, in his desk anyway? Like it yeah. doesn't make any sense. Uh, why bring it on the ship? The only reason to bring it on the ship is if you know if you're gonna get out of the ship. But why would I get out of the ship? You know, there's no reason. I mean, you can just bring um, a a pick something that's like an emergency helmet. So it's not really part of your gear. It's just I could, I could, but helmet. you know, other players could also give me. A, you know what? My guy is not gonna have a backpack. It doesn't look any sense for that super, you know, supreme commander guy to have a backpack. So that guy is just gonna be. He's just gonna be the, basically the, the capital ship driver, essentially. You know, and also by staying in the ship the whole time. Uh, that means the ship doesn't disappear, and we also have a marker to find it easily. Um, and l let's let's say that that guy uh, isn't a carrot, right? And he wants to take out the Pisces to come and pick up some uh, some guys from the front. Okay, he doesn't need a helmet because the Pisces is inside the carrot. He gets in the Pisces. There's no reason for him. To have, why would he have a helmet? Obviously, ideally, you know, you have a helmet, but since I can't, uh, but you're right, you know, I'm going to get some kind of helmet that, uh, probably the one that I'm wearing right now, I'll just get a couple of that. Um, it's what I'm saying, is you, you're not going to be wearing it most of the time anyway. It's just for an emergency, yeah, it's just for like, an emergency. If you're evacuating, you're probably not going to be checking your helmet color. Yeah. And um, once per wipe, like when, when we know that a wipe is coming, then maybe I'll wear my helmet for like the last mission if it's a jump down. Uh, but uh, you know, they've said that they're gonna put inside uh, some kind of measure to um, to reco recover items. And when I put that, then we're good because I have a lot of cool stuff. That's um... I just went to Cubby Blast. Where I'm, is that? Where I'm supposed to be going? Yes, exactly. That's exactly what you're supposed to be going. Let me tell you right now what I want to buy. Buy um, the Digi um, undersuit um, that's white with um, white camo. So first buy that and put it on. It's the Mark 10, right? Um, I don't. What, oh, sorry, sorry. No, no, no. 
It, sorry, I'm confused. Um, it's, is it Force Flex? Yeah, it's Force Flex. Digi. Yeah, this is Digi. I don't know what it means. Force Flex. Here I am, so I can see when you're putting stuff on. Um, yeah, so that first. And then uh, buy the Arctic, just click Arctic on the search box and buy the um, the core. Sorry, one moment. Um, Sorry, can you read the the name again? So it's Force Flex Undersuit. Which which one? Uh, just type Digi D I G I. Yeah, I'm looking for that. Um, so normally we um, we get the Woodland Digi. Yes, this is the other Digi, not the Woodland. It's the white. Yeah, I don't. Dude, I'm I don't see. The, uh, yeah, see, okay. I'll no, I might, I might, one sec. Oh, there's a lot of them, this is digital. Um, I'll tell you which one it is. Okay, so I don't see it, let me, let me just click comma then. Yeah, if you click combo that you'll find. Yeah, it doesn't say Digi. It doesn't say Digi. It's Force Flex Understood Arctic Combo. So if you just type Arctic, yeah, uh, I got that, it. That will be easy. So that's the Undersuit. And then um, it's the Arctic Orc MKX Core. And then uh, also get the Arctic Legs and Arms. We're not, we're not sure if you're going to use these, but get these. Arctic legs and arms, you know, the Orc MKX again. Yep, got him. And then there's the other one now, uh, for the other option for uh, legs and arms. It's called the ADP arms white and the ADP legs white. Those are heavy. Uh, is it ADP, ADP or ADP Mark IV? ADP, no, not Mark IV. ADP arms white and ADP legs white. The Mark IV is not white. It's only in the olive. That was the pre the previous one that I was using. So right, got um, it. with these, let's try and I'll give you the helmet. Because the helmet you have to go somewhere else to, to buy. It. Is it just Everest Harbor? Uh might be. I don't remember now. Dude, I'm so glad we have all these people to play with. I wasn't expecting it to be that easy. Yeah, they all seem like and pretty that, pretty cool people. So you know what the amazing thing is? All of them started the game within the last uh, either last week or two or last two months. That that is amazing because if you get somebody who's been playing for years, then he might look down on the fact that uh, you know we're not good at the game and you know we don't know a lot of stuff. But when these people know less than us, then they look up to us. So it's just easier to just be, uh, you know, to. I put the helmet on the ground. Hopefully it didn't disappear. Pick it up before somebody else picks it up. All right. Got it. Yeah, this helmet looks really cool in the dark, especially. And uh, you'll see when you put, it looks even better when you put the arms in the, so start off with the, um, the thick arms, for example, all the thin ones, whatever you want. And, uh, okay, I'm also going to give you a backpack because you don't have these backpacks, do you? Which backpack is it? Uh, first of all, you do have the normal backpack, so you can try that, but you can also try the camel, the small camel one that I use. And that I think looks much better with what you're wearing than the big one. So, um, I think I just put it down. Yep, grab it before anybody else takes it.
I like that the backpack is put on the ground as a backpack and not as a... Uh... So as you can see now, uh, the colors are very similar. Um, the silver blends, you know, with, uh, with the gray on your suit. And the backpack with the camo has also a lot of gray. So it's pretty much like it's one color. Whereas if you put the other backpack now, the, but put the arms first. Put the arms first. So, yeah, the legs and the arms. You'll see it looks fantastic with the legs and the arms. One sec, I'm just having trouble finding the arms. Oh, here we go. Oh, uh, these are... Yeah, this is the arc arms. Yeah, that looks fucking cool. I feel like you got, the backpack goes pretty well as well. The problem is it's small, and it's going to give you some trouble putting... Um, and the weapon, by the way, oh, by the way, the weapon, uh, the, it's the same weapon you have, but a different color. So the one you're using now is called, uh, I'll give you, actually, you can buy it from here. So buy from here the Night Stalker P4, P4 Night Stalker. Because right now you don't have the Night Stalker, you have a, the desert something um, that's green. But the Night Stalker looks perfect. And also the the pistol, the, uh, the Night Stalker pistol. So those look fantastic with uh, although you know there's, there's no point now we're not uh, well no but by the the um, by the the night stalker um rifle the rest of the stuff it's too small it doesn't make any difference so don't buy the rest of the stuff for now uh but put the rifle so you can see the whole thing and then um once you have put the rifle um you can try the other arms and legs and you tell me what you think they're right. bulkier uh, bulkier means you can fit more stuff inside them, means they have better armor. Uh, I think they look cool, but... You know, this guy is surrounded by 10 of the silver guys, who look amazing, right? Yeah. And then my guy is the commander above your guy, and then above the commander is the, uh, the black uh, Xenothread. I am 100% sure we have the best rank uh, gear in the game. Like, I have never seen anybody. There's some other cool armors. The Artemex is pretty cool. You know what I like the Artemex for? I would like it, you know, for the scout or for the assassin. Um, but not a whole troop of uh, Artemex guys. Yeah, I think the what arms think? look pretty cool. Um, but I think the legs... Not so much. It's okay, uh, a very different thing. pattern. It's, a, it's different, yeah. Yeah, these arms are cool. Uh, one reason that I might have wanted uh, you to wear the other ones is because my armor, as the black guy, the Xenothor guy, is exactly the same as yours. Oh, you're wearing the wrong leg. You're wearing the... Yeah, I was just trying something. One second. Plus, all your stuff can be bought from here except the helmet. Like the only thing you have to travel for is the helmet. All right, what do you what do you think of that? Yeah, it definitely looks cool, and you know the the legs with the arms, they look they even look like they match. Yeah, yeah. Because I feel like these these arms, they have kind of a distinctive look, a little bit more so than the um, than these ones. But these look cool as well. These do match better. Yeah, they match better because you know that's the, the proper arm. But keep in mind the way you are right now, right? This armor that you have right now. Oh, hold on. I'll show you my armor. I'll show you the black one. Don't take the stuff off. Okay. Uh, my armor is a modified version of what you're wearing now. So it has some bits and pieces of, uh, on top of it, and it's black. But other than that, it's the same. So obviously, I don't want people to... I don't want like the second rank to have the same as the, as the fifth rank. Uh, but unless I told you, you wouldn't be able to tell. Like unless I... It's, it look, first of all, look at my undersuit, man. My undersuit is definitely the best undersuit in the game. And you get it from bunkers from the uh, I think it's from the heavies. I, I think if you look if you if you put the the smaller like the proper matching arms on you can tell it matches but if you don't see them together like if you don't exactly. see the contrast I do like the way this looks do you like my uh, my understanding? I can't actually okay it's yeah it's very good 
So that's the undersuit, and now let me show you. Is that you, a special um, one that comes with the Xenothreat one thing, or is that a different one? No, no. I actually don't know what the Xenothreat wears because you cannot see. Uh, they have. No, you cannot. Uh, I don't think there is a specific one for the Xenothreat for the time being. Um, some people have taken pictures of the Xenothreat, but you cannot see what they're wearing under. Uh, and you know whatever they're wearing, nobody says that it has to be the official one. I don't, I don't know if there's official because in the game there are no Xenothread guys. Like there's Xenothread ships, but I, I'm not sure if they're piloted by Hugh by people. Um, well, you know, in the beginning there was no soft death, so you could not get in the ship anyway. But now that there's soft death, if we play the um, the Xenothread uh, mission, can you actually see Xenothread people? I don't think so. I don't think so because. I've, I've read people and they say that the only way to get the Xenothread armor is through loot boxes. That's the only way. You cannot buy it with money on the store. You cannot get it from, uh, you know, enemies in the game. Alright, so this is the armor. It's the same as yours, but he has more stuff on it. Like, um, he has some, uh, some, um, you see those canisters on my, uh, And then I'll show you the arms. Yeah, it's, it's painted up completely differently. But it also has stuff sticking. Like, look, yeah. look for example, next to my neck. And the shoulders, yeah, yeah. So, again, I think that if somebody sees this armor and your armor, uh, would they be able to tell, like, right off the bat that uh, it's the same armor? I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so. But, uh, nevertheless... I would feel better if you're at least your because there's nothing we can do about the core. That's the cool core that you have to wear. Well, okay, we do have an, another option, but I, I first of all, I would like to differentiate the ranks as much as possible. So if you were wearing the heavy stuff for the arms and the legs, that would be very different from my arms. That's why. Uh, okay, so look at the arms again. It's the you can see that they have all this stuff. These canisters and these and these wires coming off of them, right? Yeah. They're the same as not the arms you're wearing right now. They're the same as the you know your other arms. And then there's the legs. But keep in mind that for the legs, I don't actually have the correct legs. I have your legs in black, um, which um, ma matches pretty well. But we just need to. We haven't found yet in loot boxes the correct legs. But the correct legs I've seen in pictures. They're almost the same. Only uh, like a, a couple of tiny differences. I mean, you right. know, maybe we should see what Recoil and Chev think, but I like these arms. These Check different the arms. Uh, okay. Yeah, cool. So, that's me right now, and uh, let me wear the uh, the glasses. If the glasses are in clothing, right? Are they in clothing? Yeah. So, they're called... Um Wait, are these the glasses? No, it's not the These are the ones that you wear. I think they're the Avantix. No. Uh, interestingly, I don't see... I'm pretty sure I've moved them to local. Are they the Avalos Scout Goggles? Yeah. Okay, so I can just uh, choose eyewear. I think I might have lost the one. No, I didn't lose them. They're here. Yep, there we go. And they look fantastic with this. They look like they were made for this. Yeah, it looks good. So this is how I'm going to be, uh, you know, when I'm hanging out on the Hammerhead ship or the Karak. And so they would look like in the videos and in the screenshots and when people see me, you know, you, when everybody's silver and white and you see this guy walking in, this is the leader. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, and the cool thing is that he's Xenothreat, so I'm going to write like a backstory uh, why he's Xenothreat and what happened. And uh, I'll have on the website. So, yeah, so that's it for me. So the, and they look great next to each other. They look fantastic, you know. Uh, so, uh, one other thing you could try now is buy the, um, the, the core of the, of, the, of the, you know, the big core, the MDK, whatever. Um, just type white 
uh, and buy the core and tell me what you think. Uh, I think it doesn't look as uh, elegant, maybe as slick, but it looks, you know, it's first of all, you know that you can you can carry like almost twice as much or um, as many um, uh, rounds of ammunition and mags, and you can uh, you know and you can take more hits. You're basically, you know, that's that's the master chief. Uh, Armor. The way I see it is that, first of all, it would be great if we could match the Master Chief rank with an armor that looks like Master Chief. You know, it's a bulky armor. Second of all, um, when we raise everybody one rank up, um, Maybe that's when you should get the, the, the slimmer armor, because then you'll be the tactical commander who's, who will be further back. Um, so that, you know, we'll have the Inquisitors that are like 20, 30 guys. Then we have like the uh, Master Chief, who's going to be, you know, Rai Rory, uh, Shub, Adjudicator. And they will have the armor, you know, the bulky Master Chief armor you have now. And then you'll be one rank up. I don't even know what name yet, but then you can wear, then you can wear the full, uh, my armor, but in white. That's what I'm thinking. As long as you like now the uh, the core, um, you know, the thick core, uh, I would say it doesn't look as cool, uh, but it still looks cool, and it's definitely. Uh... Sorry, one moment. Just trying and to find it. What in my you could do is, with, with 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 the fat armor, you could also try uh, the samurai helmet. I've tried it, and it definitely looks better than it looked before, but it still doesn't look too cool. And I still prefer the helmet you're wearing. You could try it though, I could give it to you. You don't have it, do you? Or do you uh, yeah, it? I do have the samurai helmet in white. Right, if you have it, you can give it a try. Uh, just give me a moment. I'm trying to find the ADP that I just bought. Yeah. Alright, maybe I sent it to the ship. What the fuck's going on? Yeah, I don't seem to be able to buy that at the moment. Um, I've bought it, but it hasn't appeared in my inventory. So something. Well, okay, I got, I got a couple to give you. No worries. Um. I'm just gonna quickly try something. Yeah. Okay, that doesn't go. I just tried to drop it, but you don't see it anywhere, do you? I'll try again. Uh, it could be a 30k coming. Then yeah. I suppose I wouldn't be able to use the, the terminals, would I? Let's see. Let me hit F12 to see what people are saying. Well, should I be putting stuff down? I'll try one more time. Yeah, I put the samurai helmet on. I don't think this will work oh, with. Before is on the ground. Pick it up. Pick it up. All right, got it. You don't like the samurai helmet? I like it. It's just kind of there's a. It's kind of weird. It makes you look like you got a kind of a long neck, and then it's got a yeah, big yeah, thing. The huge head. The huge head. No, no. For some reason, it doesn't. It doesn't do well. Uh, I'm gonna try. I think maybe maybe in the future with bigger armor, but try and try it now with this core. You'll yeah, see. Yeah. It will look a bit better with this core. Because you'll be bulkier. I mean, I do. I, that actually th does look alright. Because it's it such right, a high right? neck. Yeah, yeah. I would go for that. Oh. Um, the legs. Use use this guy's legs. You're using the uh, orc. Yeah. yeah, I don't like these legs for some reason. But then, you know, if the whole thing is bigger, 
You probably yes, need the it looks, it looks, it looks uh, that it belongs together. So the question is, there, there are several questions. First of all, let's say that the, we, we use what you're wearing right now. That guy would still not be a good leader for the Inquisitors because the, the, the one we had before with a helmet that matches the Inquisitor helmet, that's better for the Inquisitor. So yeah. maybe this would be good for the guy above them, you see? Yeah. And so we could have the Master Chief, uh, instead of you guys being the Master Chief, we have Inquisitor, then something else, then Master Chief. Yeah. And the Master Chief could be what you're wearing right now. Yeah. Uh, so we, we could promote you to that once, and then we promote everybody else to um, the... But we have to find a name for the other. In any case, even if you're going to be wearing the armor you're wearing now, uh, you're not going to be wearing it right now. So you need to, you know, we need. So even if this is going to be the third rank, we're not going to use it. Yeah, yet. yeah. No, I get it. But in that case, maybe it would be better to not use any aspects of this armor with your um, yeah. parent. Uh, so switch yeah. over everything to the other stuff, and let's find a name for that because the, you know, Master Chief goes better with this because of the bulky armor. So yeah. we just need a name. Uh, so we have Inquisitor, and then we need a name. Ideally, um, let me see. Well, you can always you can use Surgeon, but it's better to be like if it's science fiction inspired. Let me see. Sci-fi military rank uh, names. Captain, definitely captain. But again, uh, because because this is sci-fi, the captain is. Um, let me see. Uh, Warhammer. Warhammer 40k ranks. I just Google. By the way, the Inquisitors. Uh, we have to keep them Inquisitors because yeah, yeah. This this looks perfect. Like it goes with the uh, yeah. You know. So I especially like it with the backpack. Cause the backpack. The back kind of it goes good. with the head a bit. It goes, it goes with the head. It goes perfect. You just have to get used to, uh, you know, having because well, how are you gonna loot, you know? Um, and keep in mind, you're gonna have to be wearing this every day when you play with the client. It's not just for dynamic events. Yeah. Uh, look, I, but I'm I mean, hopeful they... that we get, we're gonna get another backpack uh, eventually. You know, yeah. uh, this is not gonna last forever. We're gonna get more helmets. We're gonna get more armor. So. Uh, you know, we're going to improve stuff. The only negative of this armor right now is just the small size of the backpack. So we can work with that. Yeah. And when you got, when you got other people, you know, you can share things around. And, and yes, it can exactly. carry it can carry two helmets. So exactly. that, that's quite a lot. Or, you know, uh, the main thing is if you find an armor like mine that it says in the loot box that's rare, um, can it go in that backpack? At least one piece. Can you put one piece? But worst case scenario, you just you know what you do if you want to carry it out. You just throw out one of your armor pieces and you put that on you. Yeah. Unless you're with other people. If you're with other people, you get somebody else to. Uh... And it's it's a short term problem. Eventually, we're gonna get some cool uh, camo, larger backpacks. Uh, keep in mind, you're gonna have to go uh, now to now or later to um, the subscriber store and just buy five, six of these. You yeah, know, if, no you, if you if you want, you can buy ten. Uh, for the time being, I have five, but eventually, you know, I'm gonna buy ten, just to be. Uh... You know that I could even give you a multi tool that looks good, like a silver multi tool, and you could just buy five. But I just don't know if Recall and Chev are cool with buying a bunch of stuff. Right. Uh, but um, the uh, the normal multi tool looks good though. If you put it on, it looks good, and it also looks good with the Inquisitor. So uh, this is not a problem for now. And there's also, you know, there's this cool, uh, you, you could, um, there's cool uh, rifles you can buy, colors, uh, there's cool um, uh, pistols and stuff like that. But for the time being, I don't want to ask people to spend a lot of money. So for the time being, we just stick with the backpack. It looks, it looks terrific, I think. You're yeah, 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 it looks good, it looks good. <laughs> Definitely an upgrade to what you had, plus... This white goes with everything. It will go well with your Super Hornet, with uh, the Cyclones. Do you want this backpack back? Because this has got your helmet in it. Yes, yes. I want it uh, also because, you know, if you die, then it goes out of my account. So. Alright, just dropped it.
So now look at the, uh, how it looks when my guy is wearing it. I don't think it looks very good on my guy. It looks okay. Because my guy, ha my guy has all this purple, this purple stuff on him. It looks okay, but there are uh, some red backpacks. Yeah, but like, they uh, like the red, and red and red and red and um red and black, I guess, or black gray. For sure, I saw something like that. I don't know if it's Dude, the same if you, red though. If you stand next to me, these guys look like they're in business. Like, don't they look super cool? Yeah. <laughs> well, I'll take, well, let's take a picture. Uh, for, I'll, I'll we'll post a picture. Um, how the fuck do I take a picture without moving? So I have to, I'm going to be looking at that direction, and then. Alright, there we go, there we go. Right, now I'm gonna take a picture. Jesus, they look amazing. So, uh, you know what, for the time being we're gonna stick with Master Chief and later and later we're gonna change the name. You know, we can't do everything at the same time. Like, uh, we've been thinking about this for a year. That we're just gonna have to keep improving everything. But it's already at a, at a level where I'm super happy with what we have. Forty K has commissars. It's the one I was thinking of. So for the time being, I still wear the old spec, right? No, you're wearing this now. Okay, I'll, all right. I'll go buy the pack. Buy as much then. as you want. Yeah. So you have to exit the game, buy some backpacks. Uh, look, look at the multi tools. Uh, for the time being, we're not getting any, but look at them, think about them, and then we'll see how. For, let, let's get let's, let's do them one at a time. Let's get recall and shit just to buy the backpacks, and then you know a month later we can say, do you want to buy the multi tools as well? Right. Just ease them into it. Dude, I can't get enough of this picture, man. <laughs> so it will be my guy, then your three guys in the behind me, and then like, you know, the fucking sea of an army, like 20, 30 of the, uh, of the other guys. And then we just got to get good at the game, because <laughs> we look ridiculous if, we're, <laughs> if we suck. And I can wear this armor, my armor, as long as I want in the landing zones. Um, so now what I need to do is I need to start packing these, these backpacks. I need to get used to that. So first, it's, this, it's a procedure to it. You can't just drop things in the backpack. You have to put the backpack first in your, in your back. First, I need to buy a bunch of backpacks. Dude, you know when I was... Um thinking about taking this job in California. One of the things I was thinking was it's going to be a lot cheaper to buy Star Citizen ships <laughs> because the, oh, yeah, the exchange yeah. rate is so brutal at the moment. Like, you guys are like, oh, you spent all this money. It's like 50% on top of that. What? For Australia. Yep. Are you for real? Yep. Because <laughs> the, the dollar, dro the Australian dollar dropped massively. Why? I don't know macroeconomic conditions i just pulled that out of my ass yeah well that's you know it's like saying the weather yeah you why is it raining it's weather but <laughs> what exactly you know <laughs> I'm 
backpacks. I tried, you know, the massive backpack in the game, the one massive backpack. I tried that with the samurai and the huge armor because it would be cool if, you know, the Master Chiefs had this massive, there were these massive loot machines, but I couldn't get any of it. I couldn't get it to look cool. It looked okay, but it didn't look cool, so. Yeah, I think some of these would be a better match. Like, there's the Ghost multi-tool. It's more of a silver-white color. Yeah. Yeah, that would be cool. Or oh, definitely, uh, that would look cool. And then there's some really cool pistols, and there's some cool knives. There's all this stuff we can do. But, you know, we'll buy one in a month, and we'll see what the guys think. And it's cool. It's cool because... Uh, there's only one of me and there's only three of you so we can you know it's easy to convince the four of us but you know you don't want to have you don't want to uh, ask the other guys yeah uh, like rory hasn't spent a single dollar on the game besides jameson Arconus, they haven't spent a single dollar on the game exile um oh well they, they actually have spent no for wait for the um for the glad design i told them the frostbite paint and um for the cyclone i think that's about as much like I, 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 I actually I've been thinking that like if uh, I might actually start buying uh, gifting people uh, um, n not the basic you know the basic one for the for you know for the for the fighter and for the rover you know anybody can buy fight. but if if one of them has like a bigger ship and and the paint costs like twenty dollars and I just need to buy for one guy you know a specialist ship let's say for example somebody buys a star fairy you know and there's a really cool black uh, uh, paint for the Star Fair, then I might as well just gift them. So I, I will definitely, uh, at some point, you know, because people, you know, you don't want to push people too much. On the other hand, you know, if you're going to be playing this game for like hundreds of thousands of hours, why not spend, you know, 5, 10, 20 bucks? Uh, it's funny because I enjoy spending money, you know, because I got all this good school stuff, but I, I enjoy to, it's I feel like I'm giving to a charity. You see what I'm saying? I feel like you know this money goes, and they're gonna you know they're gonna develop the game further. It's worthwhile. And calls. buy some, and buy some Ferraris. You know because how are you gonna develop the game without a Ferrari? Uh, Copy Blast is amazing. I think it's the best weapon store in, uh, well, in the verse right now, I suppose. And it's right outside your. Uh, definitely, we're gonna stay with Arncorp. Arncorp is overall uh, because I was thinking of moving, but yeah, I think it's overall it's most convenient. Yeah, you're never gonna have one place that has everything. No. Which is because well, it's good, right? You got to choose. That's how they design it. Yeah. yeah. Which you know doesn't make sense, to, like in a sense of lore. Like it will copy blast, you should be able to buy any weapon, anything you want in the Stanton. Uh, unless you know, I would, I would put in Grim Hex. Grim Hex, I would put some stuff. I do uh, think, I think Grim Hex does have. Um, does have a bunch of stuff. Yeah. Pretty good, good stores for armor and weapons. So. um... Uh, Shuben wants at some point to live like an outlaw, so at some point we're all gonna get tons of armor from the A90J mission, and you know there's a back, there's actually a pirate backpack you can buy, also from, um, and then we're gonna all gonna gonna get the maximum crime stat, and then you know what that means? That means that wherever you go, you, they're gonna be sending you bounty hunters. Can you yeah. imagine? All, all the time you're in the game, just being hunted everywhere. And uh, but the, well, we're all gonna have the paints, the, the pirate paints. I already have like a ton of pirate paints, and there's a few more I need to buy. Uh, and the good thing is that the players only need to buy like for the gladius, um, the pirate, they don't need to buy anything else because you know we have bangers to give them pirate bangers, pirates, me and Rico, we have uh, uh, um, cutlasses, and I want to get the uh, what's it called the caterpillar. There's a caterpillar pirate paint, it makes it all black with uh. 
that's the only pain that makes the caterpillar look de de you know reasonably decent to me. So, but that's like end game. Like we have to get to a point where we kind of done everything, and then we can like try the pirate. Uh... How long do you reckon until they were on siege of Oris again? Because it's been a long time since we did that. That's that's the, the hardest of all, and uh, partly because it is hard, partly because uh, the servers uh, suck and uh, and and they just you know they bug out and you, I don't know. Like it could be next week, it could be weeks, uh, because the, you have to see it from the perspective too. Like they're waiting to drop us, they're gonna drop us three twenty uh, <coughs> before the end of September, and then right. uh, in October they have. Um, they have citizen con and then in uh, and then around there they also have uh, november they have uh, the the other big show uh, iaa whatever it's called so they have to time all this stuff together and people have been um, complaining the past few months because uh, when they do run an event uh, performance is garbage uh, i don't know if they managed to uh, make some improvements there and uh, I do hope I I just hope they run Nine Tails Lockdown again because uh, eventually they're going to uh, replace it, and I want to play it again before they replace it. I'll tell you something: loading these backpacks is not fun. It's quite a lot of work, but I guess you get better at it. You get faster. It's definitely, it's definitely not necessary to load, you know, to, I'm not supposed to be giving everybody every single life, you just, you're supposed to be giving, you know, maybe the first one when they come in the, uh, in the server. Alright, my backpacks aren't appearing in the game, um, so I'll... I'll make some Inquisitor backpacks. Tricky thing is I have a lot of um I wonder if there's a way to keep them separate. Because I have a lot of um backpacks for like for myself as well. Um because with a small one you can't fit shit. Oh, it doesn't matter now. Yeah, right, because you changed the backpack for the for my room, so it's, there's no, no problem. Wait, so, dude, I'm trying to put in this backpack the arms, but uh, I can't. So how does... Uh, how does uh, Shubin does it? Does he keep the, the, the arms separately? Because the backpack cannot fit the arm. Definitely cannot fit the legs or anything like that. Oh, I think what he does is... I think he packs uh, stuff in the arms and, and the core. That's what he does, and then he gives them to them separately. It'd be so cool if we just had, you know, a base and there was a room with the equipment and they would just go in there. Hi. Let me know if there's anything I can help you with. And uh, I made another change, by the way. Um, the interior of the, the, the contents of the backpack are up to the player. So I don't, um, I don't stipulate anything about what's going to be in the backpack. I only stipulate stuff that you can see on the outside. Right. And that will make everything faster because you know, um, for dynamic events, you wanna you wanna pretty much fill up your backpack, right? But for everyday stuff, you don't wanna have to like you know every time you lose a life to have to worry about uh, filling up the backpack. So. So basically, the uh, once I uh, revise the uh, specs, they're going to be quite a bit simpler. Yeah, I mean, I think as far as the stuff that we take with us, we have a pretty good idea of what's going to be necessary in different situations. Yes. yes so we if we go on, if we go, if we go on a big, you know, like we go to Siege Oris and we know we got to take lots of sustenance. Yes. yes. Lots of sustenance, lots of ammo. Um... Um, and we also have, I, I think in the beginning, we, we didn't have as much stuff. We had a lot more stuff concentrated on the Master Chiefs. And so, 
you're very reliant on like you had to have that stuff yeah. whereas yeah. now everyone has a, a med a, like a med tool they got some med pens so between all the people you got you know you have a much better chance of having what you need Definitely. dude we weren't even using med guns in the beginning you remember well i think we had uh, like one i think we had like a med gun yeah, in a backpack yeah. of like one guy <laughs> <laughs> So I guess you put all this stuff on and then pack it up and then pack it into the backpack and then take the backpack off? No, you put the backpack in your back and then you, you put it in the backpack straight from your inventory to the back. But it has to be in your back. Otherwise, I don't see how you can fill the backpack if it's not in your back. Yeah, but I mean, if, you could, if you're saying you got to put the arms in there as well, um, don't you have to pack... You're saying you have to pack the arms? In which case, don't you have to put the arms... I, I don't see how you can put... I don't see... First of all, I don't see how you can put the arms... The armor in the backpack. I think he has to give them the the the, the armor separately. Uh, oh wait, maybe if I take okay, let me remove the um, the uh, the undersuit. Now let's see. No, you cannot fit the core in the backpack. You cannot fit the legs in the backpack. So legs, core have to be given separately. What about the arms? This is actually very boring, so I'm not going to pack anything right now. Um, maybe I'll pack one. Even if I pack one, how do I know which one it is afterwards? I'm going to have ten of them in mind. Anyway, yeah, I'm definitely not packing anything right now. It's boring. Uh, I need to get better to do it. You know, I need to get better at doing it. Um, I mean, you can't... I know you can't put the, the gun... He doesn't put the guns in there. No, so, but I put the gun in my back, on the backpack, and then it, when you put the gun on the backpack, then it stays there. And then you put the, the backpack on the ground, and the gun stays there. Does it? You sure about that? Yes. Okay. 100%. He showed that in pictures, and I also tried it myself. Okay. Um, I don't know what happens if you put the backpack in the uh, inventory again. Does it... Uh, I think it detaches. So, look, I'm good. Uh, I bought everything I need to buy. So if you uh, if you want to do a mission now, we could. All right, just let me put my armor. Uh, the the main thing is for you to have this stuff in your local inventory here. If you have it here, to give it to somebody, uh, it's not it's not difficult. Yep. All right, looks like Especially my backpacks have, have spawned in or at least some of them. I would so much like to get out of here with this armor, but I can't. Dude, and the amazing thing is that, you know, they're making now uh, the Duster spot faction and the Headhunter spot. Those two new factions Hi. for um, Phantom. And Pyro will have its oldest faction. Well, Pyro, the, the, the three factions in Pyro, one of them is the main ones. One of them is the Xenothread. So in Pyro, we'll meet all the Xenothread people. So we'll be able to take all their armor, all this stuff.
Let me know if there's anything I can help you with. Uh, sorry, with the um, the new the new loadout, the P4, which paint variant is that? Night Stalker. Night Stalker. Okay. Both both uh, the P4 and the pistol, the L8, whatever. Night Stalker. Okay. All right, I do have to buy that, I think. But the question is, is Rico subscribed? Oh, he won't have to be subscribed. Uh, you can do like a one-off. You don't have to have a recur- In fact, I don't think I have a recurring payment. I think I just paid one off so I could buy stuff this you month. You can do a one-off, but what does he do in the next month then? Because I don't think you- keep, um, I don't think you lose this- I don't think- Oh yeah, yeah, I suppose that's true. Yeah. Keep melting and you're buying and, and, and every, 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 every life you lose you're gonna, you're gonna have to, uh, so. Now that my armor has some purple on it, I'm going to be buying all the purple uh, purple paints. The purple paints, when I first saw them, you know, the, the ones they had during Valentine's. Uh, and at first I thought I would never buy it on it. it look how look, you, cool you look now with all that stuff with the uh, med gun and the... Uh, fantastic. Imagine also if you're carrying like a rail gun or something on the other side. Oh, that's amazing. There's a blackjack bounty that looks like a, um... I'm actually, I'm not sure. I thought it was- I'm not sure if it's a ground or, or air. It's hard to tell sometimes. Yeah, it is hard to tell sometimes. Usually, I don't know, I feel like usually when it's when it has a question mark, when it's a question mark RT, I think those are usually ground missions. I'll be suited up in uh, a moment.
If we take the cutlass, we can do both anyway. Yeah, exactly. Should we take... Should we take two cutlasses, or should we take a cutlass and a, a Pisces? It's probably uh, better to take cutlass, Pisces, and Cyclone. And then we can do anything. But like, try, try to do the ground missions, but if we have to do an air mission, we can do it. Yeah, because we also have the turret. Ah, uh, yeah, but if you're flying the Pisces, you don't have the turret. Well, I could land it if we know that... Uh, it's it's probably it's better for you to just fly the Pisces. And shoot with that. Oh, that shoots too, huh? Yeah. Uh, by the way, the helmet's just... The... Oracle helmet is just in Everest Harbor, right? I suppose I just look it up. It's yeah, the yeah. it's the base. Like, basic yeah, one. See. I wonder how the other colors would look with this, like the white. Yeah, I don't know. I'm sure it'll look good, but yeah, it's tricky. We might we might get used to this and prefer this. We might end the weekend because I've messaged two, three more people on Reddit that I haven't replied yet. They might never reply, but we could also they could also just uh, and keep in mind that the, this um, this uh, invite that I've sent them doesn't expire. So at any point, you know, if I send out a hundred of these, uh, it could be in the future that somebody decides, okay, let me try this guy now. Another one. You can get it from a lot of Lagrange points as well. So there's multiple places you can get it. Yeah, like like Corel Four is one. Everest Harbor. We could drop by if you want to pick up a bunch of them. No, I can do it later. I wonder if there's a good place to loot the white version. So you see now, um, now I'm wearing the commander uh, uniform. So that's white and yours is white. So that it will be easier for them to see who's a commander. Just everybody who's white. Let's see how they look together. Yeah, they look cool. And it's very, very white. It's just, <coughs> I think it's just loot boxes. Where you can get the white version, I mean. Yes, it's one of them. But there's like so many different versions of it. Yeah, you, you're pretty unlikely to get the one you want. But, I mean... I wonder in the future uh, whether you'll be able to trade items. On a You can trade right now. We can trade right now. You go to the Discord, the Reddit Discord, and uh, there's a channel specifically for trading. Okay. It's just, uh, you know, it's just... Uh, and then what happens is, I think you can have that guy on your friend list, and he can be your supplier. Right. He could, he could like, ping you every time that he gets more of what you want. That makes sense. It would be cooler if, you know, if uh, he could just set up a shop in the game, and then all you have to do is drop by his shop. You see? 
Yeah. I think that's gonna. I think that's what's gonna happen eventually because the Banu Merchantman, the big ship, uh, the alien ship, that's supposed to be a traveling bazaar with multiple sh shops inside. So they do plan to do something like that. I think I'm just about ready. Putting the helmet in my backpack and just putting some uh, cruise luxes. Let's take some more. And now I'm gonna drink some. Yeah, it's much better now, like to to have you around me now. Like just looking at you makes me, you know, gives me a good feeling. Whereas before, you're right, you're right. It was it, before it was the same armor that you're wearing now. It's just the helmet looked. Um, yeah. Kind of. The guy drank two cruise luxes. They, call, they will come a time we'll have more Star Citizen cult friends than we'll have cult uh, players. way you know you can have eyewear under the helmets yeah, yeah so if you want to i was thinking I, I was thinking of buying five six of the same uh eyewear so that i could just do the same with the eyewear as i do with uh, everything else pretty much i'm ready when you are yeah, see, these ones kind of, um, they mostly fit on you, but, uh, I don't know if it's the specific glasses, but the one, the av those aviators that I wear, the, I don't know what you call it, the, what do you call that bit that goes over your ears? Whatever that is, that just goes into my ear, it doesn't go over the top. Oh, I see. Alright, I'm yeah, going to the hangers. Good. Usually, th this game is, uh, very good with, uh, all the, um, visual stuff uh, but there are some there are some issues there are some slight issues here and there I wonder if if I was Chris Roberts I would have a master list of all the issues that need to be fixed even if I couldn't fix them right now I would still have a I wanted that he have a list of every ship every little thing that's wrong with them uh, they should do I mean they'll have a they, they'll have like a bug tracking system so he probably, he, I don't know if he uses that, but... But are these bugs, do you consider these bugs like... It's bu bug engine? tracker, it's the, you can also call it an issue tracker. Okay. It's not just for bugs. If I was him, uh, I would look to, to hiring an entire studio just fixing stuff. Uh, and, and I'm not talking about bugs, you know, because bugs... I'm talking about ships that have issues. Uh, and then, you know, then the players can't really uh, use them to the full potential. Or just one studio that does that stuff. The players would really. The, the problem with that is that it doesn't bring in more money. So you'd have, uh, you know, what brings more money is new new ships. But fixing an old ship, uh, you know, it's not a good return on your on your investment or your time. But you have to do it because you know otherwise the game, you know, would be full of holes. And people want to, you know, want to use the ship. They don't want to. Yeah, the four hundred I needs a lot of work. That's the buggiest ship that I've used. Really, huh? Like, it's got a lot of issues with, like, when you use the elevators, it just wigs out, and, you know, you look at the cockpit, and you don't even see a door. 
you have to walk up to it and then it's like the door pops in. It's a lot of weird stuff like that. I like watching the videos more than playing the game because the videos show you what's coming up. Right. And when, I, when I'm watching the stuff that's coming up, I feel like I'm Welcome almost playing it, you know. The ASOP vehicle retrieval system. For a little bit. Vehicle select. Your vehicle has Stand been delivered to the three. Location. Well, I'm taking out my Pisces, right? Ah, uh, yeah. Claim it first. It takes five minutes. But I'm gonna pay the fee. So it's gonna be a minute and a half. Share the mission. Um. Try again. I'll contract accepted. No, it seems like I got it. Go. Cool. I think that if we end up playing like a big game on the weekend, we can probably like uh, do both the wake of the. Um, Disaster and Ghost Hollow. Like one thing we could do is go by Ghost Hollow, and uh, let's say it's empty, then you just leave one or two people there, 
and the rest continue. You might have to fly to Area 11 before you go can go to Lyria, just because of the usual navigation issues. But yeah, that could work. Um, you do only you only need two people, right? Yeah, a couple of people. Uh, but you could also leave one. I mean, if it's empty. Ah, uh, but you're not fully utilizing. I think to fully utilize it, you need two. Right? I have read that it's possible. Uh, kind of like jump down when they have the two uh, things. If you if you synchronize it correctly, or something. I don't know. Yeah, I don't fully understand the mechanics of it because we were we were playing around with it last time, and there seemed to be more to it. You know, there like there were some indicators that you know we, we weren't really using. Yeah, that fixed it. Going to area 11. I'm just now getting out of the clouds. Do you use the boost when you take off? No, because you might need to use it later, right? Yeah, but you, I mean, you don't, should use all of it, but. Uh, it's it, it recharges. Uses fuel, it uses fuel, doesn't it? Yeah, but it depends on the ship. Like, you usually shouldn't use too much. Quantum drive is now on. I wonder if there's a point where you have too many star citizen players and it's not as much fun as having pure. How do you, how do you think that would arise? Like, why would, why do you think that would be a problem? Well, there's, there's several ways you can see it. First of all, uh, you know, if a server has 110 people and you have most of them, then who are you fighting? That's one. Uh, if you have 70 people and the uh, 110 on the server, then you know, it's not so much fun. Obviously, later, you know, when there's more in the server. Um, another thing is, you know, all the time you spent uh, administration. Maybe. Uh, okay. Hold on. Okay. Sorry, when you say more players, did you mean generally or in the clan? No, I mean in the clan. Oh, right. Yeah, okay. Uh, okay. So, we go straight to uh, Lyria, right? Uh, yeah, I'm at the pit. <laughs> if you're trying to go to Lyria from Area 18, oh, okay. you might have problems. Because you're on the wrong side of the planet. And that sometimes so fucks up. If I try you, though, if I try you, uh, all right, no. So I'm gonna go. To, okay. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's gonna work. So, how do I even find that number, though? That the uh, the um should be on the other side of the planet. Oh, I see. Um, area eleven, you said. Yeah, you could also use an orbital marker. Yeah. But which one? Are they are they the uh what what shape are the orbital markers? It's a diamond shape. Is it the Mick? No, it's not a Mick. Mick is No, no, no. That that'll be one of the Lagrange points probably. Will they all be on the same plane? Uh, I don't really understand the geometry of the orbital markers. Yeah. The Lagrange points, I think, are all on the same plane, though. But yeah, it's usually. I think it was. That's I. That's what I've been doing in the past. But I think this time I decided to just go to the sky map, click on Area Eleven, and then go to it. That seemed like the easiest thing. Oh, on the sky. Okay, I see what you're saying. That's kind of, yeah, that, that might work better.
stopped him and now they're scanning my vehicle so I have to stop my speed I'm, I'm double clicking on arc open okay now I see it's area 11 Okay, finally. Dude, I don't know how they cannot improve this uh, star map really quickly. Just put somebody the quick and dirty and improve it. I kept it the same. Everybody's whining about it. I'm, I'm sure that people have stopped playing the game because of this. It is a huge pain in the ass. Like, basically, when you first start to use it, it just seems inexplicable, like... Uh, it, like, you click on things, and it just does nothing. And then you click on the planet, and it's like, it's only showing two of the landmarks. It's not showing them all, and you got to do all these really weird things. Like, you got to double-click on it, and zoom in and zoom out, to try and get it to do the right thing. I wonder how it passed, like, uh, the initial review to be released. Uh, unless it deteriorated over time. Yeah, it could be. <laughs> yeah, it, I, uh, that will be a big improvement. I also think it doesn't... I feel like it doesn't look... Like, the planets don't look very good. Yeah, like, they look... Garbage. Looks like something from... I don't know, 2003 like or something. Yeah, there's no effects. When they have like good looking planets and you know all the right waypoints and stuff, it'll be cool. It'll be like PA. It says it says that the new system you'll be able to zoom in and see all the way to buildings. Like it will be like you know exactly like yeah, like you said. Uh, and I think I think they want they want the they want that they need that system because there'll be so many um you know because you'll be building stuff and you'll be. Uh, you know, you, you want to be able to, you want to be able to see exactly where the marker is. And you'll be able to sell the markers, you know, your map uh, data to other players. Uh, it will be so much easier, you know, with those uh, caves. How did you find the cave? I used to think called OMGS, where it's triangulation based on the orbital markers. So you have to uh, go to one orbital marker, start there, fly a preset to a preset distance of a one orbital marker and then a preset distance of another one and then fly straight down to the planet. Is and that it, a pain in the ass? I mean, yeah. <laughs> like, I'm used to all this stuff because I've been doing a lot of flying, so it's not a big deal. But yeah, if you screw up, like, you'll just end up in the completely wrong spot and you'll have no reason. Like, it's not going to tell you. You'll just get there and be like, well, it's not here. There are other ways of doing it, like, based on compass direction, but the problem with that is, it just tells you the heading, so if any, at any point you get off the heading, you're done, because you can't, you don't have a marker to get back onto, and if you're flying, like, 100 kilometers, if you're off by, like, a couple of degrees, that's enough to send you, you know, huge distance. I tried taking the, um, I actually didn't expect it to be, it's quite accurate, like, this, this OMGS thing. I ended up pretty close to the to the objective, and so I took the many, dragonfly. How many caves are there? Uh, I think there's quite a lot. I think there's I I didn't count them, but there was I don't know at least half a dozen on one moon, probably even more than that. You think it's possible to buy them on your own just by flying around? It's possible, but I think it's very unlikely. I'm at Lyria, by the way. Yeah, I'm, I'm jumping straight to you, and now I'm, I'm not that far. I'm uh, nine, nine kilometers away. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, I forgot we're gonna get the um, we gotta get the the vehicles out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just I passed so so fast over you, we could have uh, crashed. I need to pay more attention. I drive like this too, by the way. <laughs> I, crashed, I crashed before I had a driver's license. The worst is on a motorcycle. On a motorcycle, you have to have full, otherwise you're going to die. So definitely when I'm on a motorcycle, I'm not thinking of anything else. I'm going to sell five. Well, uh, you don't need me, so I'm just going to follow you from the sky. We're gonna need to learn to fly information and stuff like that. I think at the moment that's very difficult because everything is so high speed. That's true. But people do it though, you know, you see it in videos. Yeah, but I mean in like combat conditions. No, not in combat, not in combat. And um, and I think they should automate it. There should be a button where you just your your ship just follows, and you know you have like six preset formations or something, and you choose them, and then it's like autopilot. Right. It would look amazing. You know, only the leader would. Uh, maybe there's something like this already. Maybe they're planning something like this. I suppose there's no mods allowed. I don't know. They could also do like a formation fly and assist mode, like for bombing. So you get all the right sort of gauges and stuff. So it tells you how to yeah. stay on target rather than having to be 100% manual. Yeah, I still have no idea how to do the bombing. I think you're the only one who, who can do it. Yeah, it seems to be. Uh, hopefully, they'll fix it in the next patch, but the actual proper bombing mode is. There are actually two modes, and the one that we're using is not the one you meant to use for what we were doing. But the other one is just screwed for some reason. Low flying is so much fun. We definitely need to do more of that. Yeah, at some point I'm going to find, uh, do some of the racing stuff. I suppose you you already have. I I tried the Hurston one. Um, oh, oh, sorry, it's an Armistice Zone. Yeah, I tried the Hurston one and it was just, it was night time and I just couldn't see shit. Is it character? Are you on the ground or are you flying? No, oh, you're flying, flying. yeah, I see you, I see you. Well. Yeah, yeah, there's somebody down here. Let's keep the ramp shot. Yeah, he's good. Uh, so the thing with the, the races, the reason I haven't done any races yet is because <coughs> races, I think you're supposed to do them on your own, right? Not with friends. Yeah, I believe so. So time usually trial. when I'm on, either somebody else is on or somebody else is getting on, and it's almost like you have a problem with too, too many people. But uh, if I did get on a 890J, apparently the 890J is good to go racing with it because you put all the you put all the races on and then you will just respawn in the ship. Right. Welcome to the ASOP vehicle retrieval system. Your insurance claim has been sent. The, the bicycles feel so good to fly because it's just so light. And at the same time, it's not as, uh, you know, it's not like the Arrow or the Fighters. It's, you know, it's, yeah, it's, it's, a really very, best. it's a very easy ship to fly. It slows down quickly. Which is a big thing. waiting for the claim. You should see the video from 2016 when they showed a, a desert planet like Dune with sandworm, with a giant sandworm. And there was also a sandstorm, a giant sandstorm. All that stuff was supposed to come soon and then they never released it.
Can you imagine when there's actual aliens to shoot and stuff, man? Uh, like like the Star Troopers extermination, where instead of just doing bunkers and uh, we'll just be going to an area and there'll be like thousands of enemies and we'll just be uh, it's like an endless uh, horde shooter. I have to improve the servers a lot. Yeah, the servers. Yeah. That's why they need server meshing apparently, uh, so that you know you can have like several servers collaborating to run a single shard and uh, I, don't, I don't think that they, I've heard of that in any other game like one server just the AI another server um, you know like in life is futile and in Atlas you have server meshing uh, but it's very it, the server like every server is one hex grid yeah. on the map That's spatial they don't collaborate for the AI they don't collaborate for anything they don't pass information between themselves. They only pass one once a player crosses from one um, hex to another. But this is, uh, you know, is next level shit. And the thing is, they they're not even sure if it's possible. Like you see what I'm saying? First of all, there's the question of is it possible. Second of all, can they do it? Because even if it's possible, maybe it takes a genius to do it. Do they have do they have the expertise in the team? So and then finally is is it cost effective because if you have you know right now you have one server per shard but if you have like three servers per shard is it cost effective oh. yeah so there's all these questions that you know they're going to production and they have just no idea they have no idea what's going to happen how long it's going to take you know and the players are like when 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 but they don't fucking know so are you saying it's not going to be spatially sharded at all or is this in addition to the spatial sharding? at the beginning it's going to be very simple it's going to be a, they call it static server meshing where um at the beginning we're talking just for the uh, just they just want to have pyro in one uh, in one server and uh stanton in another server and when you go through the wormhole uh the servers pass your credentials along so right. that the shard then will be two servers and then yep. the thing they want to do next is they want to have one server after that's accomplished. They want to have one server per planet. Right. So there will be Microtech will have its own server with a hundred players. Um, so by that time you'll have because you know uh, Pyro has like six planets, so six servers. That's six hundred players just in Pyro, and then Take another you know four hundred, uh, and then another four hundred in. Uh, and then later what they want to do is dynamic servers to meshing. Dynamic means that. Um, there's no set regions. It depends yeah. on how many players there are. You know, if there's no players in Stanton, then there's no, you know, or in Microtech, there's no service in Microtech. Yeah. And uh, they want to do that because the biggest uh, capital ships will have to have their own server. Yeah. But if the capital ship is empty, then, you know, you don't want its own server. Yeah. So that's like in the far off future. Dynamic server service meshing is in the far off future. And there's even like earlier steps. Like right now, they have. Um, the, the, what they're trying to do now is to separate the replication layer on its own server. Replication layer is the uh, the items database essentially. And right now, the uh, the items database is in the same server. It's just like uh, in a different uh, how do I put it uh, section. So that if one of them crashes, both of them don't crash. But now they want to move it to another machine, um, and they have like 27 people right now working on server meshing basically. So. And they've been working for this, you know, at least a year. Before that, they were also working on it, but just conceptually. Right now, they're producing it. They're producing it, you know, the program, I suppose. So, and we haven't heard in months. Uh, back in, uh, back in February, they put out a, a video uh, where they showed a meeting with all these devs. But uh, the players hated it. You know why they hated it? Because they've been telling us that they're working on server meshing for like four years now. And they made this video in February where they all met in Manchester and they were like, now we're doing the conceptualizing. And the players were like, now you're doing it. You're supposed to be doing it for four years. And uh, so, you know, it was annoying because like it was a 10 minute video where they, all they did was just say that, yeah, we're figuring stuff out now. Right. And they try to explain to people, but uh, we don't know if, if uh, their explanations, you know, because we're not programmers, you know, maybe programmers could dump. Um, However, you know, there are a lot of programmers in the Star Citizen. So the programmers were trying to explain to the non-programmers what's happening, and then there were the people who were saying scam, and the people who... So they never... It was like part one, but they never produced a part two, at least not yet. 
I think I think we're gonna find out the um, in CitizenCon they're keeping a lot of stuff uh, because CitizenCon this year is gonna be two days, not just one day. It's gonna be live in Los Angeles. Uh, I was wondering if if uh, Rico would like to go because he's there and uh, it's a couple hundred bucks. I would go if I was there. I'm, I'm at the, I'm at the pit. Get... Here, okay. Um, wait. So you've arrived at our our. Um... Yeah, I'm 20 k's up. Just waiting. All right. Yeah, there was a video um, s some time ago. I don't even remember when when now. And there was a guy who was talking about consistent energy streaming and stuff, and everything that he said checked out. Um, but it's very hard to know how much. Like at a very high level, it's very hard to know like how much substance there is to it in reality and like whether they actually have the ability to do all the little pieces. If you, because they've done the, first of all, you know, look at this game, you know, um, this, you know, if, if they don't know how, if they can't figure out how to do it, nobody can. Right. Um, and then if you see the stuff they've done, persistent energy streaming, the fact that, you know, you drop a, uh, bottle anywhere in the fucking solar system and it stays there you know people didn't believe that's gonna happen even i you know i didn't, I didn't you know uh, but they did it uh you Every, know, everything lay. everything you're talking about is possible it's just a question of there's a lot of complicated lot of complications like they well, have to I integrate mean, it is, is it gonna be possible but is it gonna give us the frame rate so we can play yeah. an fps game I, I know you're gonna connect servers but can you do it at real time so that we can play at 60 frames per second etc you know 200 people shooting um in the entire you know that's the thing the so if that's not if that's not possible with current technology then it's not possible right then server meshing the way they want to do it's not possible that's that's the way i see it yeah it's very it's hard to be say playable in, in, in it's, real it's, time because it's, it's it's dependent on a lot of things like how their engine is constructed exactly and, and apparently crytek cry engine is not that good with the netcode yeah um so it could be that they but they've done a lot of they've done a lot of uh upgrades to it so i don't know if it's possible for them to um like if you so, look uh, if you look at pa for example pa from the start was designed for scale and if you look at the way that it's constructed like every unit in that game is a very small amount of data and so that means okay. that they could have this big scale in principle you could shard that quite easily but this game is so complicated there's so many things like how do you get the data to migrate from one server to another i have no idea what it is so it's very hard to say anything oh i see what you're saying so maybe if they could shard if, if they could have multiple servers maybe we would have more units right in uh, pa because the main thing with pa is that infinite units yes but above six thousand, the uh the server you know uh, even the fastest server uh, yeah, choice. like a, like a, a single unit in PA, I believe, is probably only a very small amount of data. It's probably only, not on your computer, on the client, because that's got all the graphics, yeah. but on the Absolutely. server, it's just a couple of numbers. So transferring that to a server, if it's close, it's in the same data center or whatever, should be pretty quick. But in this game, like, fuck knows what they've got for every, yeah, every uh, person in the game. You know. Anyway, I'm just, uh, you're here, right? Yeah, I'm here. Okay. Uh, I'll find somewhere to land, because I think we have to land outside this one. Didn't know you were paying fifty percent more for the ships. That's insane. Yeah, <laughs> it's brutal. But if you're buying them from the impound, then you're paying good prices. Uh, well, I only got one from the impound. The rest were from the store. But pretty much everything you buy from the U.S. is like the, like that at the moment. Like it used to be. Uh, it's always been more expensive. Just not that it, that much more expensive. Yeah, definitely. In Europe. Basic, basically, during the financial crisis, for like a couple of months, the Australian dollar was above the US dollar, 
And it's only been downhill since then. <laughs> Oh, by the way, Rory was telling me uh, he's looking with his girlfriend for. A, he's been looking for, to buy a place in Edinburgh to move away from London, but he told me that they're having trouble finding anything in Edinburgh. And he said that if they don't find anything, they might move to Australia. It's really kind of crazy, like why Dude, do you go from? <laughs> if he thinks Edinburgh. Australia, like Sydney is, he can't be thinking Sydney. Sydney is one of the most expensive cities internationally. To me, to me, I think it's just something wild that they thought about while right, while, right, um, right. Yeah, that makes sense. Bearing of, yeah. I mean, he could go live in the middle of nowhere. But his job is uh, care, like is is kind of uh, not nurse, but like he has a psychology degree. He helps people who have issues or whatever. And uh, I think uh, if he doesn't live in the UK, it's gonna have to be an English speaking. Because I invited him, you know, come to Tenerife. Tenerife, is so, everything's so cheap here. You know, you can buy houses for like, like 100k uh, apartments. You can uh, rent is like nothing, uh, and you're still in Europe. But the thing is, you know, he won't be able to find work here. Probably, you know, you need to speak Spanish. Right. I mean, if it's a care thing, on the other hand, like uh, well, look, there'll be some work. There'll be some work for that everywhere. So as long as English speaking. It's not like but tech they, where there's like they don't pay well here. I'll tell you that much. Right, like they, right. They're Spanish, uh, you know. But on the other hand, you know, if if the um, expenses are also lower, so it just depends, you know. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's tricky. It's like uh, in California. I mean, I'm not gonna have a mortgage there, but the living costs are very high. But if you're paying off a mortgage, that's not wasted money. Like, yeah. that's going into an asset. So if you then want to move to, like, Texas to retire, you have a huge... Like, when you get to the end, you'll have a very expensive yeah. asset to sell. Whereas if you work I'm in like, Texas, I'm you're like locked in. House price go down. Yeah, I mean, it is... <laughs> if they completely destroy it, yeah. then, you know, who knows what will happen. Uh, one second. Because I, I, uh, I, heard, I read... Uh, I, I uh, heard an interview with Michael Saylor, and he said something that... You know, the Bitcoin guy, he told me... He said something that makes very much sense to me. He said that right now, uh, asset prices are inflated because people use them as investments. You know, people yep. buy a bunch of apartments even though they don't want to live in them. But yep. when when Bitcoin takes over and, uh, you know, everybody puts their, uh, their money into Bitcoin, then, uh, then the house will just be a place you live. So you just buy one or you rent one. So right. then prices might collapse. Uh, but, you know, that guy, you know, he's been saying that for years. Yeah, I mean, it's, it'll be... It's probably not going to be uniform. Like, in the cities, it'll always be expensive because you're constrained on the supply. Yeah, I see what you're saying. But you know, in the if it's you know an hour and a half from the city, yeah, it could go down a lot. Oh, sorry, I almost left you behind. Yeah, we've been paying attention to the conversation, not the game. You know, the missions that we're playing, they're definitely not gripping or anything, but the the surroundings, the whole wrapping. It's so great that I don't mind playing this, you know, basically stupid missions. Right. Um, oh, I'm not wearing a helmet, but... Oh, dude, are you... Do you need a revive? No, it's okay. I put, I put the helmet on. But, uh, I don't know. Maybe there's an atmosphere, because... Uh, I don't think this is breathable, but I... I don't, I'm not sure if I any the, of the movies... I put move... the helmet very quickly. I put it very quickly. Right. Maybe the game just didn't have time to... I don't know. Yeah, all the main uh, so... planets are breathable, I think. Except maybe Crusader, which but you don't have it doesn't have a surface. But the moons aren't. I think so, yeah. I'm here but I'm yeah, dude, I'm I'm already out of the ship. Oh, I'm right I'm like right behind your Pisces. Oh right, right. Okay. I love the way this looks in this um this armor looks weather, like. yeah. it, Well also this armor oh. in this setting in this vehicle. Oh the armor, yes, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. And that's the thing, like, there's uh, the same armor that you're wearing now, we have it in other colors too. But, uh, you know, how will we know which one to use, you know, it's very difficult. Um, hold on, hold on, uh, hold on, no, it's okay, let's go. I was going to take a picture, but very similar to the last picture. Yeah, you're right, it looks perfect. And then, uh, for the wooded areas, and for uh, Hurston, there's, uh, you know, there's uh, the Timberland paint for the, for the, um, 
ro for the rover and there's uh, the brown uh, but we can't do that like we can't we can't tell people to keep changing well the silver guys Oops. they're always silver you know what I mean? yeah but uh, the other ranks we'll see we'll see Let, let's let's get everybody used to having one uniform and then in the future we'll see about a second one yeah i wonder if in the future they'll give you uh there'll be like a paint system for armor and stuff or a skin system uh, they, 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 there was going to be a custom paints for the, for the vehicles, uh, but I think that, plus, I think that they scratched that, uh, not officially scratched that, but they make more money now, so... I don't necessarily uh, mean, like, um, like, player-created custom, but, like, just, like, you could buy the armor and then, like, switch the skin on the fly. I see. Yeah, it doesn't seem like they want to do anything on the fly because on the fly is anti-immersive, I suppose. Right. You know, they want you to start, you need to carry the paint, and they're gonna put in like brushes, and you're gonna have to like <laughs> play. Uh, well, you you could step into a little booth with a not a 3D printer, but you know. This little rover must be the coolest rover in all of gaming, I think. I love the it's way this sounds good. even, like just the yeah, engine sound good. when it turns on and... Alright, we're here. Like even the animations to get out of the uh, vehicle, is they're just insane. And we're gonna have sliding and other stuff soon. It's gonna be more dynamic the fights. What's going on here? That's a human, isn't it? Looks like it. Don't know how he died so on the lift. Neither of us has a big backpack now. If we yep. find some cool stuff, we're just gonna have to be very. Um, oh, we should have brought the um. I bought some cargo, bo like some boxes. Some empty boxes. Yeah. I've been meaning to try it. I just haven't tried it yet. So you should have brought By that. the way, with the next update, there'll be boxes all the way up to 32 SCU. 32 SCU. Do you understand what that means? How big is that? Right now we have we have one SCU and two SCU. But I mean, like, how big is it in dimensions? How? It's enormous. It's enormous because it's gonna be filling the the whole seat. Right. Well, there's a guy there, but I'm not sure if he's an enemy. No, he just shot Probably so. Enemy. That's the mission. Clean it out. Yeah, I don't think there's any friendlies here. Oh, I see. Because this isn't a protection Oh, I'm mission. down, motherfuck. Can you get me up from behind yeah. there without exposing yourself? Uh, one moment. I'm getting guys coming up. Oh, we got the money? We got 4,500? Yeah, we got the target. Yeah, I'm finding this med gun a little bit laggy these days. A little bit janky. He, he's, he's, look at him. He's, he's. What's he doing? He was uh, hopping on one leg and he was really funny. What kind of weapon is this? Got an attachment. Jeez. Where's that coming from? Okay, I gotta hide better. Oh, there it is. Where 
Alright, he's seen some one of us. Maybe he's on this other side because there's a little alcove in here. I think we've cleared the fr the top floor should be clear. Oh, I can see him! I can see him. You downstairs? Yeah, he's downstairs. God damn it! I didn't manage to shoot him. Are you down again? No, I'm I'm upstairs. He's downstairs. Okay, cool. All right, I'm downstairs. I shouldn't be looking for loot, right? But I don't know, my eyes just. Right, there's a few down here. The leaning stopped. I can't lean now. Maybe because I'm I'm uh, hurt. I think it's uh, might just be a bug. Okay, I got this guy, uh, but I'm down to six percent. Okay, so let me try to hit myself with the. Uh, Who's new? Well, I have a level 3 injury, but it should be good for a while. It's so much cooler to see you pass in front of me now because I enjoy watching your armor and stuff. Alright, this area is clear. I think it's just the back room that's left. Up here. Yeah, it's just the back room. It should be over here. Yeah, I hope they, um, with these bunkers, they add a bit more variety. Look at this, this blood. Uh, they're not going to do anything in these bunkers. Uh, there's just going to be, you know, new bunkers. But not anytime soon. Right. Yeah, I think everything's clear. Now, the only uh, thing... What, what, what you just got to be careful because these doors that say unauthorized personnel, sometimes enemies come through them. Um, what was say? Yeah, so if you get a server that's a fresh server, server and with few people on, uh, and the tick rate is higher, then apparently these, these bunkers are extremely difficult. I see. So the AI is good, it's just that the server uh, is too slow and... Um, to calculate what it needs to do. Have you seen any loot crates? Um. I don't think I've seen any so far. Oh, here's a... No, that's, that's not a crate. By the way, uh, I'm supposed to be getting uh, the... Um, I, I need uh, the undersuits for this guy. Which means that um, I'm supposed to be taking uh, bodies out, but uh, I need to find out which bodies have. Where's the where are the big where's the big guy? Is there no big guy here? Probably the big guy has the best. Uh, I do think I did see a heavy. All right, found a medical crate. Yeah, it's got nothing in it. So I, I guess you I must already, have. I already. Yeah, no, it did. I did. I already took it. Right. Right. So, uh, take a body if you find one. I mean, I can you can you can click loot and you can see the whole thing. Uh, what's the it. name? Of, what's the name of the suit you're looking for? I don't remember the name, uh, but it's uh, it's it's black. Can you see it's uh, it's color? 
It's this one is like uh, black, white, gray. It's called this Sabine answer suit. Yeah, that's good too. But the one uh, that I want is uh, full, full black. So if you find a full black undersuit, tell me the name. Yeah, I see the same one that you say here. The same. I'm gonna take it. No, there's no space. Um, I think this could be. Is this a heavy? No, it's medium. You're right though. You're right though. I didn't see a heavy. Who was the target? Uh, we got him near the door. I it might it's be one of these guys that I'm standing on. Yeah, I see the same uh, P4AR magazine. That's the one that I need, right? Yeah. This is I a new type of box that I haven't seen before. This um, just you know those green uh, cube like it's like a cube shape. Those green ones that when you put armor down. I just found one like that, but it looks like a loot box. It doesn't have a name on it. So that's something Did to keep an eye on. Did you find it? Just like uh, tiger's claws, just utility stuff like that. All right, found another medical crate. Yeah, you sometimes get these ones that don't have a lot of, don't have the red crates. You just get medical stuff. The red crates are the best, and then there's also gold crates, right? I've heard. Gold crates. Gold crates, you haven't seen those? No, I haven't seen them. I think those might be, you know, like uh, in uh, derelict outposts uh, in uh, tougher places. These, um, all the locations in this game, like uh, where I am now, you know, they have the wires on the ground and this mist and then this flickering light. It's, it's fantastic, the, um, the ambience and the... Uh, and compared to games like Rust, uh, this is so next level. So imagine like building this stuff yourself. That's it will be very you know it won't be very customizable though because uh, Chris Roberts doesn't want you to make ugly stuff with his game. But still, it would be awesome to own something like uh, this. Yeah, all the, all the undersuits I found are the uh, that same one. Yeah, yeah, we may as well get out of here. Alright. Um, Head to the lift. Yeah, as long as I can find the way. It's up, right? I have to go up. Oh, frontier pants. Okay, found you. wonder if these boots are any good. Oh, I think I found a heavy. No, I... Th oh. Yes, I found the suit. La Moncor was it right here. Amazing. Nice. Uh, so that means... I need to move some stuff out. I don't know. Oh, maybe there won't be any space. Okay, so the suit is... 2,800... 28,000 MCU, and I have 40k. Okay, so there is space. I just have to move... A lot of shit out. For some reason, I cannot. Uh, there's no uh, move all from my backpack to the. Uh Micro I see yes, it's micro I see you. Yes, no there is enough. No. Dude, there's enough space but okay. worst case scenario I just I just uh okay, let's just take the bottom.
we're going to do more bunkers, maybe we should go back and get the cargo container. I don't have to land at Area 18. Yeah, the guy has a full armor. Uh, sure. Do you know how to... I have never uh, done the cargo container before. I mean, I assume you just track the beam it. And so you bring it with you, drop it near the elevator, go to the mission, come back. How can we do a mission with better loot boxes? Uh, I don't really know much about, like, bunker progression. I only really know the bounties. Wait a minute, is this a... No, it's not a loot box. Ah, uh, okay, so the, the issue, I guess, then you'd have to figure out, um, yes, yes, how you transport it. Maybe if you bring a mule, because that can have some kind of cargo, so maybe that's what you need to do. The mule, I think, takes uh, a box in the back, uh, and a one or two SCQ box in the back. Yeah, so we could try doing that. We don't know, usually need, but that only takes one person. We could take, we could bring two mules, or maybe uh, like an Ursa or something. Which uh, that has in does that have interior space? Oh, dude, we could take my Lynx, but the Ursa is. Do you have an Ursa? Ah, uh, no, we I don't. Buy know. one. We could buy one. Um, yeah, we could buy some Ursa because you know the Lynx is cool, but the Lynx is for like luxury touring. All right, so you know what? Uh, how about you go and bring the? Uh, I can't bring it here because of the gun, the AA guns. Uh, but we can shoot them from. Can we shoot them now? Uh, we, I mean, we try with this. I've tried sh like blowing them up with the grenades. It doesn't work. I believe you can with ship guns, but we, you know, I've never tried with the uh, cyclone guns. So we could try that. Yeah, give that a try. Um, Do you know where the guns are? By the way, we're trespassing. What does that mean? That's fine. It's just because th this is hostile territory. It's not government. It's not government owned. Um, yeah, I need you to drive. Or right. I can drive and you shoot. No, I'll drive. Yeah, so there should be... If you drive around, you should be able to see icons for these AA guns, or see them around. Another thing I want to do at some point is is figure out how to break in and out of prison. Yeah, definitely. definitely. Yeah, There's be a weird thing that I read the other day, that you can stack merits in your bank clone. I don't know what merits are, but apparently you can you can send them to one person, to the, the guy who has the bank, and then you, you can keep the merits uh, for later on. I see. I don't know how you transfer them though. Yeah, I'm not seeing, um, I'm not seeing any I see, AA I guns. See right there, right there, there, in front of you. Can you see the AA, the gun? On there? the roof? Okay. Yeah, there's a Oh, you yeah. Oh, dude, it worked. Yeah, I think that might be it for this place, because normally there are a lot more than that. All right. Um, Tell me do, you, do you want to wait here, and I'll, I'll. So the no, we'll go, let's go. Let's go together. Yeah, Tell but if the, the corpses are re will despawn, if you want to pick oh. them up. But why would they despawn? We have persistent energy streaming. Let's go. We'll All right, we can try it. We can try it. Tell me which way. Uh, forwards. Straight dead ahead, pretty much. Yeah, I think with corpses, I don't know. Yeah, but then you come, you come to this place. Like we saw that guy in orange, so they must have changed it. The only reason I say that is, when you're in the mission, sometimes you see items despawning and things. But maybe that's because you're killing a lot of guys, and they and they cycle it. They're like, well, you. They doing? definitely uh, it, when when they first put a person in the streaming, uh, every that was you know the whole game was choked with bodies and. Uh, and then they, they added calling rules that were more strict to, yeah. uh, for performance reasons. And they, they're definitely playing around with that all the time. So you cannot be certain. Right. Um, I'm pleased we were able to destroy that gun because I've never destroyed them except using the, the Colossus bombs. I wonder if you can yeah, kill them with small arms. You must be able to kill them with a railgun. I bet you can kill them with a railgun. I saw Shuvan, um Kill a, uh, a a gun like that. That's why. Uh, what weapon was he using? I can't remember. 
what was it small arms or I wasn't looking at it he just told me that you know I destroyed right, it. right right yeah because that's a very useful thing to know how to do if we can figure that out yeah you're pretty much still on target yeah, this is it here I'll let you off. Jump it out. Yeah, I remember many, many years ago, um, this game Tribes, which yeah. isn't really very good, but it just blew me away at the time. That you could, you know, you could put a t you could put a turret down or something like that. In uh, in the Star Citizen forum, they they asked just the other day. They asked, they said uh, they made a thread saying, "What do we need for a quick and dirty tribes mode?" Right. So they wanna they wanna add. Uh, I think tribes is what led to um, is it what led to battlefield and planet side. Um, yeah, I, I definitely felt tribes. like I definitely felt like pla when I heard about Planet Side, the original, which I never played, that felt like the next step from Tribes. But, you know, when we were playing Tribes, that was back when we were still on dial-up internet, trying to play Tribes. <laughs> that was just fucked. We played at LAN as well, but you, you know, you don't have enough people really. Yeah, it's actually crazy, because, like, I remember when I was a kid, like, you, like, the first, the first really good game that I can remember playing was Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah, I played a lot of other stuff. On the Mega Drive. Yeah. And, you know, then you play, and then you play, like, run and gun games, and then you play, uh, shooting games. And all of these things were kind of, like, very specialized. And then I played RPGs. And it was really cool. Like you could, you could kind of, you could choose who you wanted to be. Like first, I played System Shock because I played it. I played like Doom. Then I played System Shock. And every, at each stage, I was sort of blown away by like the scope of it. But then with RPGs, it kind of leveled off because those games don't really have good, like CRPGs. You really don't have very good core mechanics. Like the tactics usually isn't very good. It's just kind of grindy. And now it's like playing playing Battlegrounds in this has blown me away again. Yeah, that hasn't happened for a long time, you know. Not since I was it's pretty not a level young. Of stuff. It's yeah. not a level. And you haven't even seen you haven't even seen the uh, Pathfinder. This the stuff that uh, you know the battles later. You know we're not good at it yet. We still yeah. suck at it. So, uh, but we, we're definitely going to get good, and everything's going to get bigger. Are you on the Pisces? Uh, I'm on the bicycle because I have some issues, and I think I can fix them now. Select so injury. Uh, it's so. I mean, amazing. you might like, you I might as well bring it with us. Uh, sure, sure. I kind of want to get hit because I want to use the <laughs> medical bed. <laughs> it's so awesome to get be able to fix yourself. And all this with the power of money. <laughs> Oh, he phased again through the. Oh my God, he phased. Yeah, when you again. get when you get out of it, you got to be real careful with that bed. Um, how do you have to get? How is the correct way to do it? I just don't think you can do it. I think you always fall out. Gee, that's new because when when the when the thing first came out, there wasn't this problem, you know. Yeah, I have uh, had some weird bugs in there. It must must be having problems because when I got on there, the, like the medical screen was floating around, and there was, there was some weird things going on. So great to be able to take off without having to ask permission. Oh, Sky and Tango are playing Star Citizen now. I wonder, um, you know, do they look at our uh, our server before they? Um I actually saw a Mez in the game the other day. 
Um, yeah, I've seen him as well. I've seen him as well at random times. Even though uh, I think the guns <laughs> might be back. Keep in mind, by the way, that um, we well we could we could land again. And keep in mind that Mess, uh, his uh, Discord is on a Mac, is on a different computer. So ah, right. that's why sometimes he's not on Discord. Yeah, that makes sense. I think it's, it's still destroyed. It's probably still destroyed. Why would it not be? I mean, oh, because you see the the arrow, right? The, uh, oh, is it shooting you? Ah, uh, yeah, it's <laughs> it's shooting. Fuck! <laughs> Not gonna get okay, out of here. Okay, land a little bit further away and let's destroy it again. What's the range of this thing? It's pretty high. Like one and a half k's, maybe. By the way, there's, I can see the remains of a ship here. you see where I am? Uh, preoccupied at the moment. Yeah, I think as we killed them... I don't know what's going on. Yeah, I think that trespassing thing, I think that... I don't think we're going to get a crime stat from that. Yeah, I've never had can, any. Uh, de Sorry, destroy that with small arms. Uh, well, I mean, we can do a, we could do a test. I can bring the cyclone down. I'm gonna run over. It's so amazing to see. Uh, okay, I'm gonna run up first of all. Now that I'm on the ground, I'm not even sure which direction the... Oh, there it is. Yeah, you're right. I think the leaning is bugged. I've never seen that before. Yeah, I can't wait until, like, every time I take a little tour around these ships, not so much this one, because it doesn't have a lot of amenities, but, the, you know, the bigger ships, I always think, like, I can't wait until, like, the showers work, and you can exactly. use, like, the sink, <laughs> you gotta wash your hands or whatever. And to be able to just live off of them, that's why I want yeah, Pyro, yeah. you know, I want to be able to, uh... Like, I want to buy, I want to be able to buy ingredients and like do like have like a cooking crafting type thing exactly. to make your food but well they will definitely have farming he has said uh even in the chairman's letter he oh they're fucking shooting at me on foot i'm gonna put on their shooting at me. that is scary when that fucking thing is shooting at me yeah it's a big fucking gun uh i might have lost the yeah, it's tricky to navigate because we don't have the uh, objective anymore, and I can't yeah, use yeah. the quantum stuff from the cyclone. Dude, so. I'm trying to shoot it from a distance, but uh, I don't think. You think there's a blind spot that I could? Uh, if you fly very low, because it only has one turret. If you fly low and get behind the building, you might be able to land. You gotta be very careful with that because the things sometimes unload when you're in the bunker itself. But if you're on the surface, it should be okay. Maybe I'll try. So doing I'm that. Now, I'm next to the building right now, and I have some good cover, so I'm gonna try to shoot it out from here. Let's see if that's gonna work. Well, I'm bringing the cyclone, so we can just use the cyclone to destroy it. Right, right. Uh, I still wanna at least use one, uh, one mag. Are you trying to shoot it with your yep. personal weapon? I can see there's some shots landing, but uh, I 
don't get much feedback about it exploding. Yeah, I've never succeeded in destroying them using ship guns, only with ship bombs. So I don't know if it's just a precision issue, because it's, you know, tends to be a little bit away. Or whether they're just immune. Enough. I wonder if you could remove it with, uh, with the uh, tractor. It's worth a try. I wonder how, if it's salvageable. It's, it's too far though, it's too far, I would have to get up there somehow. Alright. So, the 32 off. SEU boxes, um, normally won't be, uh, you won't be able to move them, you need vehicle tractors. But because vehicle tractors are not in the game yet, for the next patch they're going to allow us to use the hand tractor to move them. I see. So I think you see some cool shit with people, you know, lugging around these giant boxes uh, and just hitting ships and... There's going to be a rifle tractor. It's going to be the size of a rifle and it will be a tractor tool. And you'll be able to stop small ships. Can you imagine that? Like Aurora. You'll be on the ground walking around with this uh, rifle tractor and Aurora flies by and you can capture it. I think they're going to go very sci-fi, you know, if you add the Titan, the Titan suit and if you add all that stuff, then it's going to go from like hard science fiction to like anime science fiction. Oh shit! Fuck! Oh, <laughs> I just whoa, lost whoa, the front. Alright, this is still flyable. Still flyable. <laughs> Jesus. He's gonna shoot you now, he's gonna shoot you. Jesus. This is not flying the right way anymore. <laughs> it only turns it's in one direction. Land and get out the cyclone. Let's call Sky uh, and Tango. Oh, directly. fuck me. Jeez. Alright, sorry. Wait a minute. I'm gonna see if the uh, suit is still there and I can grab it. Alright, I don't think he's shooting at me anymore for some reason. I guess I'm behind the building. Yeah, I think I just, just somehow lost line of sight. Yeah, we're not gonna be able to fly this out of here. It only flies. Really? It only. It only. It basically just keeps you in in one direction. So I don't see any bodies. I'm not sure if I'm the correct. We're definitely in the right area. But yeah, they might have res despawned. Well, at least these suits don't seem that hard to get. If you commit it and you want to get a few of them, you can get them. Oh, I could use that also as my flight suit. Um, can I do it? Is there a difference between undersuit and flight suit? It's the same thing, right? I think flight suit's just a type of undersuit. Well, are they different, like, mechanical? Uh, there might be some different characteristics. I'm not sure if the suits yet confer any, um, like, resistance to G-forces, things like that. So that's what I would expect a flight suit to help with. I would expect to just look cool. <laughs> yeah, I think they were... the bodies were, like... Around the front, right? They were in the front somewhere. Yeah. That's a little uh, disappointing because it wasn't a long time, you know. And there's a, everything's supposed to last for weeks, but yeah, I think they probably have special rules for the, the bodies. I definitely haven't found bodies to be durable, generally. All right. Well, we're not. Yeah, this cyclone isn't going to make it out of here. Where Where is my ship then? <laughs> you tell me, is it being blown up? Right. No, no, it hasn't been blown up. It's alright, don't part. worry, if if it's blown up, we can call an Uber. He's getting shot again from that thing, right? Um, I think he's shooting well, at the bubbles. 
you know what? First, first of all, we'll find it easier. The um, if we just get in the, I'm gonna drive. I'm gonna drive. Let's just get in the. Room all right, room. Uh, just wait a minute. I gotta get in. All right, I'm in. I thought you parked right next to the building. No, the the ship is in the distance, but I'm not sure exactly where. I'm sure that I should be able to get. Uh, it's definitely hidden because I wanted it to be hidden from the. Um, the thing is, I don't see a marker. We spent so much more money than than uh, we're making. It'd be cool if when uh, when Sky and uh, Tango, when they came in the game, if they saw us online, if they just join our server, even if they're not playing with us, as long as we're in the same server, then they can rescue us and we can rescue them. Yeah. I think, we, I think we're here. I think we're somewhere around here. Is that it? Uh, no, that is a, a wreck that I parked near, I think. Uh, unless there's many wrecks. No, that's a different wreck. Dude, I should be able to see um, my ship and marker, but... Uh... I mean, we did oh, hear yeah. the gun oh, shooting, yeah. so it is possible that it got, it got it was shot through the ground. You have to be about two, two and a half kilometers away to be out of range of the guns, definitively, I think. If it's just 1k, like from this distance, I'm pretty sure it can hit you from this. this far why, why do I see ramp access like 14 million miles away? What is that? 25 kilometers ramp access. Ah, uh, that'll be some kind of ship. The, you might see it for the Cutlass, 500 meters away. No, it's, it's like 20 million. Uh, maybe your ship blew up and it's taken some... I think that's not how that works. It needs to be claimed. Can we get to an outpost on the um, cyclone? I mean, in principle, yeah. It has unlimited fuel. Uh, it might take a while. I think it takes what? This it's is like a kilometer a minute or something like that. I th is that your cyclone? That, that's not your cyclone, is it? Uh, I think this. Uh, yes, I think around here. This is my ship, I think. Hold on. Is that my ship? Is that the box? Okay, I have to get out and check that out. Could be minerals. That's oh, not a mineral. Yes! Here's my ship! They, they, he destroyed it! Jesus, look at this. Alright, we'll have to call a rescue it. beacon. Come inside, you have, you have to see how it, what it looks like inside. I All wanted right. to see if the med bed would be... Uh, still uh, functional, but no way. Well, at least we solved the mystery. You have some XP for that. Was there a box or something here? Yeah, I was seeing a box. Container size 2. Oh. I wonder if we can put it on the back. Probably not. Probably not because this is a military one. If it, oh, there is some spit in there. No, it's got no. a grenade launcher in it. Oh wow, nice. Guess I can how can we how can we do this? Cause you can't put your gun in your backpack, right? If you log if you if you close your uh, game and you come <coughs> and you come back in, wouldn't it put you somewhere in uh the, the spaceport? Yeah, but we could call in a call in an, an Uber. A space Uber. Yeah, let's try that, let's try that. 
That'd be more fun. And uh, what about we kill him and we take? His yeah, shot? I mean, I was thinking. That. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we gain anything from that. That's the problem. Let, let's give it. A, let's give it a try though, because we've never done it before, right? Um. So, is there a coma right here that's gonna? Yes. So look, you call him. Uh, or I call him and you hide somewhere and you sh and you kill him. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't think you need to hide. He's not going to be expecting you to shoot him. You know, you know what? You know, let, let's put out the bounty and we uh, we don't shoot him, we don't kill him. We we get him to you know take and we only defend ourselves if he is part of a uh, you know if he wants to kill us. How about yeah. that? Mind you, we try to you know, I do, I do have this grenade launcher that I just got. <laughs> Well, you, you you use it if you know if uh, does he have bullets? Have yeah, it's got six grenades. Look, we want we want to be taken back to a, a spaceport uh, with the box and the cyclone. Yeah, you can't specify that. That's the problem. Really? So okay. Um, I'm actually not sure if I can here. put this in the. Can I put this in? Oh, it's Alright, it's back in the box. Alright, I'm gonna call the rescue in. Yeah. How much money is it? Does it's it like 15, like 15 grand. Create beacon, personal transport. Uh, let's just make it easy and say. Uh, by Genie Point, if I could find it. Got a massive drop down. Not even sure if it's on here. It's not alpha alphabetized. Payment amount. Let's just say twenty grand. Right. I hope he doesn't get here and he, and he comes in like a super hornet or something, expecting one passenger. Well then, you'll take me, I'm the important one. <laughs> <laughs> you draw straws. <laughs> It'd be so awesome if we could like start a fire or something and just hang out here. I don't think we can survive that long. Like I see that my, I don't think my uh, my my uh, suit is is good for this. It's really cool trying to tell from the wreck what kind of ship it used to be. Dude, I've never seen atmospheric effects as good as in this game. Could be that some of these new FPSs that I haven't played have uh, similar.
Yeah, I don't think anybody's gonna pick this beacon up. Do they see that you yeah, have called in your name or something? I don't, I don't know. I just cancelled it and it won't let me make... It won't make, let me make the... travel one again. Let me see. Uh, how do I see on this moon the outposts? It only shows me me and you. Oh, I mean, this is also not the right place to do it because they'll get shot here. Dude, there is a uh, there is an, uh, a place. Uh, should be mining facility cell five. Uh, might not be that far from here. Actually, it was pretty close if you remember. Let's see which way is it. Uh, Do you see it anywhere around you? Um, I think I've, I've set... I cannot set route. Oh, you cannot set route because you're not in a ship, probably. Uh, how can you track how far away you are from it, though? Uh, I mean, yeah, this is kind of where you need a better map. Because you need to have the compass directions. Uh, but you could estimate, if you can figure out, if we know, like... Problem is, I don't know which is north and which is the south pole. Like, I which direction is here. west? Because it's it's either it's either east or west of us. I suppose you would know just by looking at the star map, right? Like, what's how do you know up from down in the star map? I suppose with Art Corp. How does this work? One thing you could do is, you know, what you could do is. Um, I look at the map and you drive and I see in real time the map updates so I can tell you yeah, we can do going that. farther away. But yeah, I think we need to go basically uh, west, west, south, I guess. Let's give it a try. I'm going to jump in the uh, driver's seat and you look at your map. Uh, also look at your compass. There should no, be no, 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 you tell me, uh, I'm going to start moving and you're going to see me moving in your screen. Well, what I'm saying is that that takes a long time to update on the map. So to begin with, oh. just try using the compass and then I'll monitor and we'll see how it goes. Are you on? Yes. The thing is like, uh, I don't even think I have a compass right now on this thing. Wait, maybe it's in the ship. Maybe it's... No. Oh, uh, no. No, I'm not seeing a compass. I'm just going to start going, dude. Uh, Alright. And you're just going to tell me if I'm going away or... Yeah, I still haven't seen any movement on the map. Really? So either it's a very long way, it's just not updating quickly enough. The other thing is, without a compass, if that happens and you spin out, we're going to be completely lost. That's <laughs> true. That's right, I am lost. Alright, I'm logging out. <laughs> <laughs> we accomplished nothing. We just spent a bunch of money with you. <laughs>
Well, we went shopping at least. Let me know when you stop the stream. 